Episode 76, live in the motherfucking basement with Brian Six. Yeah. Brian Gay, Six. The motherfucking Beezer. We got a special, special guest, Brian Six. I did it. I got the invite to the basement, you did, dude. dude. What up, bro? Uh, this is like I, I Rap like City. I feel like I the cellar, dude. Dude, this is and Rap City. You got to freestyle in the fucking closet for like two minutes. <laughs> Let's drop a beat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't rap for shit, dude. Let's do it. Um, All right. So Six is a two-year roommate. Cha. Good friend, stand-up comic, co-host of You Fucked It podcast with, uh, with Ryan Shaner, another exceptional stand-up comic and overall funny guy. He's got a very funny mustache, and he's always drinking and up to no good, that guy. He's wacky. He's a rascal. He's a rascal. That he's, a fucking, he's rough and tumble. He's rough and tumble <laughs> and also <laughs> shares it on Instagram. Classic oh, rough yeah. and tumble guy. <laughs> oh, the no look at the it, camera. Always, it always... Uh, <laughs> It's not just him. The Kyle Kinane was just here this weekend at Helium, mm-hmm. and it's like, are you are you real dirty and hardcore and tough? It's yeah. like, dude, you're a fucking stand up comic. Yeah, yeah. And then like Shaner will get fucking like blacked out or yeah. like he'll post a picture like live by the booze. It's yeah. like, are you living by the booze on Instagram? Yeah, I just if bought you, you a lift booze, home. My dad's an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's, he's not, not <laughs> taking. He's not. He's embarrassed of what he's up to. He should start. You should start sell- your dad just starts selfie and hard. Live dude. by the booze. Just, yeah. be, oh, just be a pitcher no. of Miller Lite my, at the Elks <laughs> every day. My dad cut his Shout I, out, Shaner. I forgot about this. My dad cut his finger today, cutting open an orange. For some reason, he took a razor blade to an orange and fucking cut his finger, so he needs stitches. And then they're like, you need stitches. He's like, whatever, I'm going to eat my orange. And he tried to eat the orange, and he started choking. My brother had a hind leg <laughs> Shout out to him, dude. Damn, he's fucking dude. dumbass. He's making dude. a run to be a stooge. Yeah. <laughs> he's a new fucking stooge, dude. It runs a family. Would you would you cut oh, your yeah. hand open? He cut I his cut hand, my hand open, open with a knife. Cut... Opening knives. Yeah. That was fucking. Oh, I was fucked up. I was opening a knife set. <laughs> I called my dad today. I was like, yo, I heard you're having a shitty day. And he was like, Ugh. I was telling him, I'm like, dude, I just got feeling back in my left finger. And he was like, how'd you cut your finger? And I was like, <laughs> Opening a knife set with another knife. Yeah, yeah, it was not. You're opening up knives and you cut your hand. I just remember you're like, you're like, ah, dude, that's gonna need stitches, dude. And I looked in the kitchen and it was a fucking bloodbath. Well, he was, was bleeding everywhere and he like stared at me and I was like, relax, it's okay. Well, I did a lap. I sink. did a quick, yeah, like yeah, a you, panic you, lap of like. Ah. He bled everywhere in the kitchen. And I was like, put it over the sink. You're all right. You're all right. I needed that, dude. I was fucking... It was so much blood that I was like, this is enough blood to pass out. And then as soon as Shane was like, no, you're fine. Put it over the sink. I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> that was two times I saved you in the kitchen. Yeah, the, the other, other time... there was a fire. The other time <laughs> I, almost, <laughs> I almost blew us up. I was making a little... I had a little bit of an evil fucking hash tincture with some green oh, alcohol. Oh, right, yeah. Dropped it over an open flame that... I got a little off flambe action, dude. I was like, holy shit. Drop the thing. Shane's like, throw it outside. <laughs> hey, you weren't the only one. I came home at 2 in the morning to just a flame about 2 feet high on the stove. And I walked in. I was like, well, this is nice. And I just texted the house chat. I was like, hey, anybody using the stove? <laughs> of course. The wood. Oh, dude. Did I leave that on? I was like, first off. You hit the stove uh, like three months ago. <laughs> me? Yeah, I came home after you, probably like... Were you with me when I, we came home? <laughs> I think so, yeah. I came home probably like 30 minutes after you. And you had gone to get a beer out of the fridge and must have bumped into oh, the stove. Oh, hit it. Accidentally hit yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then I came back to your room and I was like, are you fucking using the stove and you're like no <laughs> and i was like all right well you're the only one here it definitely this thing is just turned on <laughs> the other day what a, i think i opened the microwave here and just saw like fries just chill oh, in the microwave yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm like dude this is definitely like, this, this is, is a late is... night beezer mission dude this no like, that's not aborted, me aborted the was... half-eaten pizza <laughs> it's like uh, ah, maybe it was. it was either you or kyla more than likely it was her uh, Every time I, well if okani was home it'd be him oh never mind yeah it's okay i remember that the old house was coming down to just like a fucking like aborted pizza <laughs> in the oven I got some aborted pizza mission by the Beezer dude <laughs> just like a charred fucking Elio's <laughs> I used to do it with potatoes I used to cook potato bake potatoes be like oh they're done and then I would shut the oven back and forget about it oh yeah you used to blow up potatoes all the time 
Because you get texts like, fuck, dude, I left my pots in the oven. I'm open up like, nah, they're gone, dude. You gotta let them go. I would leave potatoes on and fall asleep and they would just explode in the oven. <laughs> I don't know how he didn't burn down. Dude, I'm fucking no man left behind when I'm making food. Yeah, I'm, you, I'm standing yeah, by the oven chopping <laughs> my feet, dude. I'll, oh. like, I'll like make soup and not even boil it at all. <laughs> Pour it in and be like, it's warm, it's good. Fuck yeah, I'm eating. Yeah, I get really, I get really anxious about that. If I'm drinking and I come home and try and make snacks, I have to use an oven or just yeah, the stovetop. I, I, I should not be allowed around that. I get bored. I'll be like, ah, fuck this. I'll just go. The best is when Wood banished himself to the microwave. <laughs> oh, t- <laughs> I remember being like, dude, if I use the microwave, he's like, it's a deal I made with myself. I'm only going to use the microwave because I don't trust myself anymore. <laughs> it's the fucking best. <laughs> You know, he imposed a ban on flamed fucking view of, of using gas appliances. He banned himself. To he just... was so bad oh, at the stove. How about this? So uh, just last week, I think it was, we were, we were talking about this. And I was like, you know what? what I, was, I was kind of an asshole towards you about the spoons. Because we lost spoons. Oh, we lost yeah. spoons mm-hmm. out of our silverware. Like to the point where by the end of the year... Last year we were, we had no fucking spoons. There was like mm-hmm. maybe four, dude. And I was like, we all knew it was like Woods losing these. He's taking them to work and losing these. I'd be like, stop taking spoons to work. He'd be like, I'm not taking them to work, dude. Fuck you. I'd be like, you you are, or you're just throwing them out. You're the only one that's doing this. And he's like, no, I'm not. So then the other night at the bar, I was like, yeah, my bad about that. If you're saying it wasn't you, it wasn't you. And then whoever he was with, it was either Shane or Blizz, was like, dude, I got into his car once, and there was like 12 bowls, <laughs> all with spoons in them. I was like, you fucking asshole. You're going to let me apologize. <laughs> the, best, the best is when the one day I go in, I open up the fridge, and there's just dirty dishes in the fridge. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh. what the fuck is this? I'm like, bro, why would you put dirty Tupperware? He's like, I was going to get it later. <laughs> If there's just nothing on them, it's oh. legitimate the dirty thing is that dishes. All my beefs with wood were my ex-wife's beefs with me. It was the same thing <laughs> of me just being like, if someone being like, "You didn't cl- wash the dishes enough," and I'd be like, "Shut up, dude! Fucking whatever, dude!" And I was just totally <laughs> wrong. I'd be like, "Fuck off." Yeah, but I bet you weren't that. I bet you weren't putting them in the fridge. No, but I was taking spoons and silverware to work, and just I would be like, "I'm not washing this," and fucking just throwing it out. And I'd be like, "Okay, let's do fucking silverware." <laughs> Who brought the bag of utensils? I did. That was yours. From I grandma. remember that bag it was, that was huge. I was yeah. like, "All right, we don't need all yeah. this shit." The little that I know. Yeah, that was when my grandma moved into my parents' house. Oh, okay. Really? Got her silverware, and then Wood threw it out. <laughs> Wait, is that your the one that's living? Yeah. Because I know your other one died. The other one died a long time ago. I was like three when she died. Mm. Damn. So you are stealing from her. Oh wait, that's your no. grandma. That's or aunt that's Dude. accusing of stealing. Yeah, my aunt's fucking. My aunt's wild. My mom's aunt's wild. And I was talking to a lady who cut my hair today, and I was like, so "How's your mom doing?" She's like, "She died two years ago." Remember? And I was like, "Ah, yeah." I'm sorry about that. Sorry what? to bring that up. She was like, "Yeah, remember? Like you met her, and then I told you she." She were at sick, the funeral. Like, yeah, that's right. I don't think you told me though. She's like, "No, I told you." I was like, "Ah, how'd she die? <laughs> Cancer, I think, or something." Sick. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I mean, she she doesn't give a shit. She was like, yeah, yeah. She's like, whatever, whatever. But it was just funny. I was like, how's your mom doing? She's like, she died two years ago. She's remember? fucking dead. Remember, I told you she when she was sick. I was like, ah, yeah. There's no way out of that. It's like, sorry about that. Like, did you? Really yeah, sorry sure. to hear that. She's yeah, like, yeah. no, I, I told you this. And I was like, I don't think you did. <laughs> did you give the O? Oh, oh, that's right. No, or I was just, oh, just I, I just stuck to it. Like, yeah. I, I don't think you told me. So like, I did, and I was like, ah. yeah, you gotta ride that out. <laughs> yeah. So Beezer's <clears throat> here. Yep. Um, actually, before we get into it, let's do, uh, I want to tell you about TJ Miller. Oh yeah. Cause I, yep. you guys don't know about this. It's pretty great. I saw the, I didn't, I saw the headline. I didn't read yeah, the article. Apparently he <laughs> was on a train and he got, he got left at New York because he was so intoxicated on one of the trains mm-hmm. and then he just got on another one and then called a bomb. He said that somebody on the train had a bomb and it was a lady he was arguing with on the last train. So he wasn't even on the train. He called about the train he was just on, said it was a lady he was arguing with. He was like, she has a bomb. He described From it. the other yeah. train yeah. that he was on. Mm-hmm. What an asshole. Did she have a bomb? No. no I, know. <laughs> then, I know. Is he What if she did, though? Yeah, true. He just foiled some jihads <laughs> <laughs> randomly. But uh, That's a really funny thing to do to someone, like your enemy. Say they have Call a bomb. Call a fake bomb threat? Yeah, until the FBI traces it. Yeah, his voice is pretty recognizable, yeah. too. So he got he it's got all this wacky. Ehrlich Bachman. Which I'll tell you what, he should have been there should have been a bomb threat for when he was fucking when I opened for him. Oh, his, that his was fucking, brutal. His fucking wife, dude. Yeah. 
He's she, been he, I, when he got accused. He got me too'd earlier this year. Yeah, he did. And then he's been he's been up to no good this year. He's been getting a, like he's doing crazy shit. Well, they cut the fucking they cut him out of that show. And I've I've seen him in person, dude. I know that this guy's a mental patient. Yeah, he was actually really cool and really nice with me. So it's shitty of me to. do I this. liked how he used his bish as a deflector. How he was kind of like, nah, I got a girlfriend. I didn't rape anyone. Hey, say girlfriend. She was well, like, she yeah, got right behind him too, and she was like, she was like, he didn't rape anyone. He didn't rape any bish. It was the opener that night. It should have called in the bomb threat. Yeah, Jesus. He Christ. had her. <laughs> that kid was brutal. Oh, uh, yeah. He had her do a spot though. In, yeah, at know. the show, he had her go on and sing. I remember it was, it was she went absolutely on and sang, unbearable. Uh, we were up in the Lincoln, dude. She, she was singing uh, something with a cocktail. Boots were made for bar. walking. She sang that, yeah. and then she closed with "Don't you love, love me, me baby?" Yeah, 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 she sang that. Except the only lyric she sang in that was, "I met her at a cocktail bar." Oh yeah, a cocktail bar. She, that was the only lyric she sang, and she sang the whole song. Uh, like that? With, she that's just the repeated opening those, lyrics. She repeated those lyrics the whole. I way. mean, that for T.J. Miller. That's so the lady just sung. Ironically, only sung bad like songs. A, she yeah. sang three bad songs. She did bad karaoke, basically. For three hours in a theater. That's the physical manifestation of letting your girlfriend's ideas run your life. It is. She's probably like, what do you want to do? She's like, I'm just going like, to sing karaoke. It'll be fun. It'll be quirky. Like, All right, great. You didn't have enough balls to be like, get the f- no, get the it's fuck like, out. Why are you going to bomb? People paid 40 bucks yeah. to see me. I'm not going to have you sing fucking dummy karaoke. He had her bomb for 15 minutes in the middle of his show just singing. Now, the best part was for sound check. We showed up at like five thirty or six before the show, and I went on. And I was like, "Yeah, that sounds fine. Thank you." Got out. Next guy, same thing. She goes on, sings her fucking three songs, sings all Jesus three, Christ. and the guys in the back who just sat through fifteen minutes of this girl just dog shit are like, "All right, yeah, thank you." And she's like, "Uh, that did, I don't know. It sounded a little weird. You want to run Ugh. that back?" And the guy was like, "He's just in the back. I'll never forget." It. He's like. Just the uh, the last song again? She's like, no, all three. Oh my He's God. like, all right. <laughs> they fucking did it again, dude. Uh, she did sound check for a half hour. She loved it, dude. It was nuts. I wonder if she had something over TJ's head. She, I'm going to tell him about that me too unless you let me do karaoke. Yeah, it is shitty of me to bash him because he was a nice guy. But uh, yeah, I remember you saying that. I remember you saying, like I asked awesome. you, and I was like, how was the open the kid he had featuring for him or whatever? Yeah. Dude was just dog shit. That guy, no, that kid's a... He's but I just, heard he's funny. Or, he's an alt stand-up yeah, comic. Yeah, yeah. He's just an alt comic. I do remember the only good part, or the only good reception she had out of her part was he literally ran out on stage. Yeah. Remember? In the yeah. middle of her... That's what you gotta and do. she went right before him, but bef- in between <clears> them, he was like, go back on and do like three minutes. Oh, because that kid and bombed. I was like, okay. No, because he knew she was going to bomb. Oh, yeah, TJ yeah. TJ yeah. Miller knew his wife's fucking dumbass music was going to bother <laughs> everyone Jesus in the room. He's Christ. like, he's like, so everybody in the audience is probably going to be pretty upset. That's what he Go said. Go ahead back on and do three minutes. Yeah, because it's like a fucking alt comedy thing. Like yeah, He's yeah. like, and then this part of the show, we're going to make everyone upset by Ugh. just repeating the same lyric over and over again. His act, I wasn't a big fan. I think I left. Yeah, he sprays water all over the place. He like, did the old spotlight trick where he outran the spot. I've seen that like fucking 20 <laughs> yeah, times. Yeah, it's yeah. like vaudeville. He's, he's wild. What, yeah. Didn't he tell you, though, while the, the, the kid rapist. was? I don't remember his name. <laughs> but after he was or, right a bit about to get off, he was like, hey, if you have the time, yeah, you yeah, think yeah. you can do it, right before you brought her on. So it was in between him and his wife. It was between. It was after his wife. He was like, if you got three minutes. Because it was that kid and then, then her. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. double you, whammy of shitty. What did you do three minutes? I forget. We uh, crushed up. I did. Well, it sucked because I, I opened the show. So like while people were walking in, I, I was kind of, yeah. it was an average set. Yeah. Well, like, No, it got really good. I mean, by the end of it, people place. started listening. Yeah, but yeah. at first people were s- sitting down yeah, and I'm up there shitty. like, you know how black dicks, uh, <laughs> you know how I look retarded when I fuck? Uh, <laughs> Didn't you do Jackie Robinson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. And then I came back on and did a callback from the first set. And the yeah. place was like, oh, I remember I like, that. Yeah, make some noise. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. And then he was like, cheese steaks. I was like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. It is a shame. He was probably so fucking nice. He was the man. And he, and then, dude, he got strong armed out of that. He got strong armed out of like a couple million fucking bucks, man. For yeah, that what? show is going Silicon to Valley. fucking suck, dude. He's not on it. Uh, no. You're talking he's about off. Silicon Valley? Yeah. He's not on it at all? Not a, Definitely not no, fucking he's, now, dude. He's out. He, he was out last season. They had him, like, they rid him off. And then it was, he said it was because he wanted to do other things. Sure. 
But then he got yeah. me. T- he got me too. Like a month later, deflect rape accusations. And it was like, if you want to move yeah, on yeah. to deflecting fucking rapes, and then calling bomb threats, <laughs> which is like he can go to jail for this. He's supposed to be at Helium yeah. this weekend, right? Yeah, that's probably what the train was. Damn, <sighs> live via satellite, dude. Damn. <laughs> I wonder if it was uh, because Tuesday they're closed. Might have been a little private show with the TJ coming down with the bomb threats. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking Isis Miller, dude. He's the man. (laughs) So, uh, what a fucking... Can you imagine... Because he was hammered. Yeah. Can you imagine being fucking hammered and making a fucking bomb threat? I... You imagine that hangover waking I've done up? Some, I've called, God, I've called some dumb shit when I've been drunk. I put $5 on a murderer's books in jail. You know? Did you? Yeah, on Gator's books. You Call didn't see Gator. them? I showed you them emails. That's true, yeah. And I didn't remember it all, but a bomb threat? Dude, I'm talking about having a fucking real consequence. But to T.J. Miller, he's probably had, part of him's probably like, yes. Uh, I don't think about that. Not this one. A little bit of, little bit of publicity? One. No, this has all been bad publicity for him. Bomb threat? Bomb threat against real bad. the fucking lady. And then lady. It, it, in the article, it listed what it did, and it was like all eleven hundred people were delayed on the train, and like, oh my god, this cost dude. them nine hundred oh, hours. Shit, that's like almost as bad as Chris Christie, dude, with the bridge. Yeah, uh, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, god damn it, dude, he is not a. a no, that's fuck, he's man. waking up like, oh shit, I'm probably gonna go to jail for this. I'm gonna oh. go to jail for a bomb threat because I got get... drunk and was trying to ruin a lady's life. <laughs> I cannot wait to see him this weekend. And that only strengthens his alle- his murky allegations. Like, well, if he called, I guarantee. Well, if he called in a bomb threat against an un- a girl, why wouldn't he do that? That's so late. That's like the rich guy equivalent to Ding Dong Dash. It's like, dude, seriously, that's what you're fucking doing. That's what you're doing in your life. You're shit faced. You miss your one train to get on another, and then you call in a bomb threat. He on got the kicked other? off the other train. Yeah, being too fucked up. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, apparently and that, uh, that lady was vocal and being like, so he was just mad and yeah. you know, apparently. Yeah, that was allegedly. Just the, that was just the allegedly quick, in today's fast-paced news world. Who knows how accurate that story yeah. was? Dude, especially with Conor McGregor. A lot of people think that's bullshit. What? Yeah. Did you see the video? Fuck I saw that, the video, dude. but a lot of yeah. people said it's staged. It's just to hype up his fight. Yeah, they say that with everything in UFC and boxing. Yeah. Anytime there's an altercation, they're like, this is probably staged. Because they've done that before. Yeah. yeah. This I mean, one, the water this bottle one, thing I saw, when they, him and Nate Diaz threw water bottles at each other, I was like, yeah, they could have set that up. But this dude, one, this one's not. I don't think this one's staged. Nah. I do love how Diaz came right out. I was like, yeah, fuck that dude, dude. Yeah, McGregor's yeah. the man. <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah that's hilarious, Nate Diaz, tweet, Nate, Nate Diaz tweeted out, and he was like, he was like, if you want to talk shit and slap and bully somebody's boy, and then... Somebody shows up and says, get the fuck out of the bus. And you don't even get out of the bus. You're a bitch. Yeah, and, she's like, and then the next tweet was like, but I slapped the shit out of both these dudes. So I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I was like, dude, Nate Diaz is the best. That was the best thing about one of his boys. He'd be like, yo, bro, you should probably shouldn't take his side in public. And he's like, yeah, dude, I'm going to say I slapped the shit out of both dudes. Good call. He was really passing a vape off to his boy. Like, good call, bro. His, I follow him and McGregor on Instagram. And it's so funny, the difference in lifestyles. Oh, yeah. McGregor and Diaz live. Diaz is at like... Local gyms, like high school gyms, watching his boys compete in mm-hmm. like amateur jujitsu, like throwing up peace signs, oh, like West Side till I die. Dude. Is he Fuck now? It. Is he like McGregor? Are they pretty much done, and they're just doing. No, I think McGregor's no, like, gonna. I think McGregor's gonna come back. He's gonna. I I was saying this the other day. I'm like, I like remember Bieber fucking freaked out and had a bunch of bad shit, bad shit, bad shit, and then came back like magnificently. I yeah. He like peed in buckets, said the fucking n word on YouTube, <laughs> lest we forget. Bieber said the N-word, and then he was just not doing well, and then he just fucking came back triumphantly. In my head, I was like, I wonder if McGregor hired the same PR firm that Bieber had, and just staging, like, no, life no, spiral. No. Or is he just <laughs> no. an, or is he just an Irish dude with $100 million? Yeah. Like, I'm the king of the world. Yeah. yeah, well, he's an athlete. There's a huge difference. Yeah, that's true. Because it's, it's also a lot harder to stage a magnificent comeback when you're fucking cage fighting. It's yeah. not just like, oh, I'm just going to get Diplo to make me cool music. It's like, no, nah, dude, you, you got to go fight Khabib. You got to go fight a fucking yeah. animal. Well, dude, the thing is, I watched a documentary. There's no athletes ever that have done a fake spiral. That's true. I've watched, yeah, I've watched the documentary yeah, and the head trauma and shit. I watched his documentary. So I like got real into Conor McGregor. I'm watching. I'm yeah. like, oh, my God. And I feel like almost like connected to him. And I'm like, I wonder what he's up to now. And it was just like, <laughs> boom, bust up a bus window. It's getting attacked by the Irish mafia. And I was just like, oh, my fucking yeah, God. Yeah, he's nuts. Man. He's wild out. My thing, though, with that glass, there are like all the glass shattered. And it's like, that's, do you ever break a car window? Yeah. It's safety glass, dude. It kind of falls in it. Unless it like 
you get hit with like 60 mile an hour, like a car going 60 mile an hour and breaking and hitting you, like the glass from just getting hit with a hand truck, I, I wouldn't fucking like cut you up and shit. I think it did cut that guy up. I, they show pics? I mean, he went to the hospital. Of course. I'm, yeah, of course. I think they did. canceled a fight. Yeah, it was the one guy was supposed to fight the next day. Did they have pics like, of his injuries though? Because I've gotten uh, in multiple car accidents. I've broken that glass when I locked my keys in my car. I've shattered shit in car accidents. And that glass is just fucking rained on. So you think this is an inside job? I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. What are you saying? I think they're (laughs) hyping up. Dude, how are they going to overcome? He did that thing with Floyd Mayweather. That was huge publicity. It's like, well, how can we have the bigger one? Well, it's not. I don't know. It's never going to be bigger than That's a weird angle, If they start fucking. I'm a follow-up. That is such an easy thing to fix. It takes a tour bus. Tell one fighter to be like, hey, man, we're going to fucking get. Conor McGregor is the biggest thing in MMA. Who's this other guy? Habib? Yeah. No one knows about him. Uh, Yeah, but... uh, I'm just saying I I go to Wood with all this stuff. (laughs) Wood knows all when it comes to to UFC stuff. And he was saying, like, it didn't... I think that was real, just because I don't think he would have canceled any kind of fight. And he was, like, the next day. And they said he got his face fucked up. Are they going to fight now, though? McGregor and Habib? uh, Maybe. But or maybe he's gonna fight Mayweather. They've been saying Mayweather's training UFC. Stop, oh dude. No, he's not. That yeah, would there's be a bunch so of bullshit sick. reports. But yeah, that's. He's yeah. I know <laughs> he comes you, out I know like Ray Mysterio. Conspiracy again, we'll see, dude. We'll see. I don't think this one's conspiracy. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but I, it was funny. I was like genuinely upset. I was like McGregor. No, you were doing so well in your documentary. No, nah, he's, he's apparently he's been, been like dickhead. cheating on his wife. He's an animal. He's yeah, been doing blow it. with the other girl. He got caught doing blow. There's pictures of it. <laughs> he's not going to be looking good for his next fight. He's a fucking asshole. True that. Yeah, he's the best. Yeah. Fuck. What, dude? You want to tame Conor McGregor? Fuck that. This makes me like him even more. I want to see him win, uh, dude. I, I love when he wins. I love. I do see all the shit with him and Fifty Cent. You see dude. the shit with him and Fifty Cent. What about Fifty it, Cent? Was like. Oh fucking McGregor, he's a pussy. People, white people, love McGregor. He's like, the, they all think Ugh. they're McGregor. He thinks he's so cool, blah blah blah. And it's like, that's gotta fuck up like cool black dudes to see like super cool Irish dudes because they are fucking cool. Yeah, and they're very similar, dude. To Does be it? like McGregor versus Fifty Cent, they come the fucking best. Yeah, yeah. It's got to chat Fifty Cent's ass, dude. I don't know, dude. Yeah, if Fifty Cent fights like he throws a baseball, McGregor will tune in. Oh, the McGregor fuck would off. destroy. That's what McGregor <laughs> said. Like, I'll kick your ass, and he's like, Yo, we got guns around here. It's like. All right. <laughs> That's a good equalizer, though. Guns. 50 Have cents, like, 280 50 pounds. Into, dude. He went into the octagon with an Uzi. He's just like, all right, let's do it. 50 was boxing for a while. Mm-hmm. Dude, I mean, obviously, he'd get but, destroyed. Yeah. 50 got caught doing coke. Did yeah. you see the video of him doing coke? It's yeah. He's like, yo, man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> really? Yeah, there's a video of him doing blow. When was this? Was it a long time years ago? ago oh, okay. Dude. Before he, he was, he was huge? Torn, no, he was torn with G-Unit. They were in the back doing blow. Oh, I love G-Unit. I love them. <laughs> Gina was the best. I met them, dude. It was the greatest. I didn't meet them. They walked by me. I shook their hand. You shook hands with Gina? Yeah, at the electric factory. Damn. And then I got kicked out of the concert because I was did smoking Did you give him like a white guy factory. fucking handshake or did you clap it no, up? No, I went in. So it was... Uh, Gina, the, nice to meet you. So it was, no, it was actually... It was uh, supposed to be... Who was, it was Lloyd Banks and who was the other one? The Tony Yayo? Young no. Buck. Young Buck? Young Buck. Yayo was still locked up. So it, the show was advertised as, uh, as Banks and Buck. Because Buck just dropped his album. Shorty Wanna Ride With Me was the jam, Damn, too. Dude. That was the fucking jam. That was tight. Big bus pulls up. We're in the back, uh, right on the side of the electric factory where they come in. All right? So we see a bus pull up, and then they all walk up. It's like fucking 20 of them. And then you see one of them just towering over all of them. Not height, just fucking mass. And I'm yeah. like, that's fucking 50. He wasn't advertised on the show as a big surprise. So we're standing right by the ramp on the side of the electric factory going up to the do- the side door where the artists go in. And I was like, what's up, dude? I was like, Buck, you're the fucking best. He was like, thanks, Mike. And he did this. <laughs> oh. And my boy who I was with was so gay. He was like, Banks. And he went like this. And Banks <laughs> slapped me out of the way. And then I was like, Banks. what's up, 50 you on the night? He's like, that's why I'm here. And he slapped me. And I felt my fucking shoulder all the way to my spine. Like, not even hard. Just like that. And I was like, Ooh. I was like, I could see in there it was yeah, dude he's huge damn fucking dude. huge in he's real on life. steroids dude i know he is <laughs> he's a fucking asshole dude i think that was an inside job dude. what i'm just saying i i, I dude, that's a conspiracy they're like wait there's beezer out of the bus dude out yeah. of the bus. <laughs> so beezer we brought you on not to talk just mma 
for you to spin <laughs> yeah, your wild what? conspiracy theories. We're not here to talk about something none of us know about. Yeah, right. Which is MMA. We brought you on here to talk about sex. All right. And, and the your business. role. What do you need to know? I feel, I feel like I should be asking you these sex days. Sex trafficking, dude. <laughs> now, I want the listener to know, obviously, this is not a conversation that I give a fuck about. This is two weeks in a row where Matt's pulling the strings on fucking... What you talking about? We're talking dick skins last week. Uh, check the numbers. No, it's a great episode. And now we got Beezer coming in hot with porn. Well, webcams, which is porn, <laughs> I guess, yeah. Yeah, I mean, dude, we'll, we'll... Next week is a fucking Notre Dame yeah. football Next week is just us... No, <laughs> no just next, Lou Holtz next down week here is Shane. just <laughs> us doing a decade of the rosary. <laughs> oh, my God, We need dude. to repent, dude. True. Also, I do want to say this before we get started on cam girls. Uh, my Catholic friend, O'Leary, was like... I'm still getting my boy circumcised, dude. He's like, you that's will. fucked up. Hey, there's a lot of pro. There's still a lot of pro Cirque uh, listeners. They're fading. They're dwindling hard. Which it's like, dude. Do you, man? Listen to the cast. Follow the cast. My th- yeah, follow the cast. And if you're fucking Jesus Christ, if you have to fucking do it, leave him a little something, bro. Leave him something to Let tug him on. Guard the fucking guard yeah. the. All right, all right. Oof. So Beezer. Beezer. Yeah. You are a sex slave. You are. A- <laughs> <laughs> it's me. You're a mid-level sex slave, dude. You are an internet... I'm climbing the ranks. You're an internet pimp. Mm-hmm. Tell us what it's like. Iceberg Beezer. That's yes. me. No, I, I'm none of those, but <laughs> literally none of those. I, 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 all right, so right to the point. My boss bought a marketing company. We were marketing certain brands to do brand building and online presence, all that shit. And he found out the money that was involved with Cam Girls. All right, you guys know the story. How did he find out after he what he spent a bunch of tokens? He's like, wait a second, no, nah, someone's giving me the tokens. Nah, this fucking <laughs> oh, yeah. slut messaged him and was like, I want to get into porn. It was a friend of his friend, and she said, Hey, do you, can you help I me with this? I wouldn't call her a slut. Ah, she I is. Said. She's one hundred percent slut. I'll well, show you the videos on Pornhub. So wait, slut so shame. She was. I was shame the fuck slut. out of this no, moron. This isn't not, a slut shame. I'm talking about one dude. of them. This platform is to raise women up. Sex and positivity, not dude. Slut shame, Beezer. This isn't you fucked it. So this this, this is a very open minded podcast. Okay, Thank I apologize. You. Don't ever slut shame. So this okay. girl just messaged the your boss who was just in marketing. It was like, yo, I'm trying to show my pussy to the world. What can you yeah, do? Yeah, his me? his buddy knows her, and okay. uh, so this slut calls him, and she's <laughs> like, listen, <laughs> no, she he said she was a stripper and then a meth addict. You know the trail. It's you know <laughs> escorting it. And then fucking, she's like, she's a I sex want- worker. Yeah, hundred percent. And she said, "Hey, um, blah blah blah," said that you could maybe fund my cam girl venture, and that's when John looked into the whole cam girl thing and brought us into a meeting. And was like, "I got a new venture for us." I was like, "Let's do this." What's the uh, what was the expenditure? She's like, "Funded." It's like it's a fucking. So we're HP supplying laptop. like the laptop, the camera, because a lot of the cameras on <laughs> she's laptops. Like, she's definitely a meth head. Oh, yeah. I need you to fund this. I need you to get me an HP Dell three hundred dollar laptop. Oh yeah, and yeah, yeah. some deodorant. No, nah, dude, we go top of the line, man. They get max. They get fucking. Do they really? Oh yeah. yeah. Damn, dude. Um, but the the cameras we use another certain camera, so. We fund them that way. They sign a contract, and then they start camming. And we have accounts on Chatterbait, Cam Soda, and um, Streammate. And do they cam in your office where you work? Yes. What? Well, one what? one was all right. Not anymore. <clears throat> one was, but then uh, hold up now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hold yeah. Up. Yeah. Would they shut the door in like an on air thing? Or yeah. Could you ever go in there while she's doing it? It's like- not. So we own four different offices in our office complex, and um, I'm not in that one. Uh, and you found your way over there for a couple smoke breaks. Uh, I thought there was a couple <laughs> emails we should go over during <laughs> shows. And uh... <laughs> she's just shitting. She's just shitting on a rug. And you're like, oh my god, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I, I can chime in anytime on her fucking sessions. But um, at first we were because we really didn't know what the fuck we were doing. You know what I mean? Like, it's. It's funny because you get into it and you think like, yes, dude, our girl's going to be the best. And then you see literally like any other girl in this thing and you're like, man, they are fucking way hotter than our girl. Our horse is dead last in this race. Why don't you fucking fix her up with some plastic surgery? It needs a lot. You should fucking... Well, we've... we've, we've uh, he's buying the one girl tits. I know that. Really? Yeah, yeah. He's going to fund the tits. And uh, well, she needs them. I mean, she's fucking like she, backwards. No, why doesn't no, does she it, rock small Brian. tits? Why she no, rock... she wants them. She, yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah. A lot of her followers, like she's, she's a great girl. She has an amazing body. But a lot of her followers are like, she's man, a, we should have huge titters. Bitch, dude. 
Oh, dude. Oof. Give me really? a good flat bitch on a webcam. I love that, man. If I good... get a nice fucking little flat I, yeah. dude, I mean, take, take me back. Why doesn't he get her some fucking braces, bro? Oh, yeah. She got a grill like a oh. fucking now donkey, talking, dude. We got titties braces. and braces? Uh, yeah, I mean. Pigtails? Funny thing is, if you look into like Buffet. surgeries between tits and braces, <laughs> tits are going to win every fucking time, dude. What are you talking about, the price? <laughs> for, for the girls we got, dude, braces are fucking pricey. Yeah, that's true. We'd rather buy the fucking you gotta balloons. Add, you got to add a couple yeah. teeth before you can put the braces on? Right. So now, all right, so we got her going. She's moving along. He put her in one <laughs> of the apartments he owns. He owns like three or four different properties. So he puts the one, the, the one that's in this area over here. We got the girl in L.A. We got a girl up in New York. And then we have one in uh, Philly that's going to start. Probably like next week. Yeah, can't um, wait. She's getting a pussy ready. Uh, well, she's actually a former cam girl. She didn't do it for a while. Now she's getting back into she's it. Back so, in the game. Yeah. So we supply her with the the laptop, the camera, and then the newest thing is they have it's their option, but we have it is a vibrator which syncs up with your um, with your account. So basically, what these girls do, like on Chatterbait, is they put this thing, you know, in the jaw, and <laughs> it vibrates. Longer and harder, depending on how many, uh, how much these guys in her room will donate. Yeah. Pay, basically. And I'll shit you not, it turns into fucking, it, it's insane. They gang up together like, yo, let's get this bitch a squirt. They gang and, vibrator? Oh, dude. It's insane. It, it's like watching all, it's like watching Fortnite together. They just team up together and get it in and she just starts going nuts. She can't do anything about it. And they make so she much fucking money. About it. <laughs> no, <laughs> she can't. It's in her contract. What? You yeah. can't pull the vibrating egg out of your pussy? What's the nope. what's the uh, legalese language of that? That's Thou shalt not pull the vibrating egg out of thy yeah, pussy. Yeah, I think there's an ESQ with a period Until all the, the nerds end. are satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. It's like Call of Duty, dude. They get in there and fucking wreck shop. It's insane. Oh, my God. Damn. I've hung, I've hung in a couple fucking cams, dude. Have it's you ever a... paid for it? Fuck yeah. Okay. I told you, boys. I've paid. I paid. In what a, was, uh, when, when was this? contest. A couple nights, I'd fucking slink off of the old house, I thought you were going to say a couple nights ago. Like, nah, hell no, bro. Uh, I'd be drunk, and I'd be like watching porn. I'm like, it's not enough. And i hit up a cam, and I'm like, this is fucking weird. Talk and to me. You can let them see you, too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So then, like, I'd be all drunk in my room and be like, I don't want anyone to hear me. And i like, turn the light on enough so they could see me. and be like, hey, can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, you're really beautiful. Yeah, what, then you What sit were you there. paying? Dude, they would cost, like, it's retarded, dude. It's like a... You pay like you gotta buy the fucking coins. You just gotta. Drop. Oh no, I know how it works. You gotta I'm drop in sixty. How much you gotta drop you're sixty off the bat. Oh, and then yeah, I'm like, yeah. well, I want to have a nice little reserve. And the whole time they're like, oh, you like this, you like this. And next thing you know, it's like times out. And you're like, what the hell? That was fucking forty bucks. Oh, you're going far and go. I mean, dude, they're all fucking ruskies. As far as I was concerned, on there. When was this? <laughs> Fucking like a year and a half ago. <laughs> was it? Did you ever do it at our house? Yeah, the old house. You did what? I got drunk and I would slink. I would slink upstairs, start watching porn. And I would the fucking cam ad would come you on. You were live camming while I was in there. Oh, that's house. why I was trying to be all quiet. I was up there like, hey, can you see me? I'm like, okay. Oh my out. god! I hope. Then Kirk like they were talking there, about dude. when <laughs> Mecky was talking about the cam girls like releasing to like emails and shit. Mecky told me that story. And I was hmm? like, oh my god. Uh, was, I don't know how true it is. What story? Mackie's story because it, it's it's an urban urban legend, but it's one of these things where like somebody will, uh, like the Arab version of you, who is the cam girl's <laughs> pimp, All right. Al Bizarre. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Is... He'll take the footage that of you of you jerking off. Oh, from yeah, your yeah, camp. okay, I've yeah. heard this. And then yeah, email yeah. you and be like, send me five thousand yes. dollars, or I'm going to email this to everybody on your email list. Yeah, I sounds I've heard reasonable. It. All right, it sounds reasonable, but I've heard it not just from him. It's it's like a it's True an dead. urban legend. I've True heard. Dead. But you know. uh, I wouldn't put it past the beginning of when cam rooms were starting to become a thing, and they could obviously find little loopholes to get in there. Now Mark Zuckerberg has all the guys. Zuck, yeah, off, I mean, dude. it's like, you know, with you download a game, and this, what's the first thing they ask? Uh, connect to your Facebook or whatever, because well, we want to send you, you know, that's how they get it. That's how they get the data. But no, dude, I'm telling you, if you ever do a webcam and you regret it, which I did both times I did it, I just literally <laughs> performing went, on a cap, went on to Capital One, dude, and was like, what the fuck is this? That looks like very suspicious activity, dude. I didn't do that. Dude, they'd take it right off. That's really? Nice. What site do you use? Can't, what the fuck is it? Uh, what's just, the one with the red that comes up? Live Jasmine. Oh, Live Jasmine. Yeah, ah, Live Jasmine. Yeah. And then I researched. I'm like, there's got to be one cheaper. And it was yeah, Chatterbait. Like, 
Yeah. Go probably. to Chatterbait. That's the way to go. Cam yeah. Soda too. I'm, yeah. all, I'm off the fucking. That's the worst, dude. That's like the most shameful fucking nut, dude. Yeah. yeah. When the we most were shameful, uh, dude. when we were kids, we would get on and make the model say my one friend's dad's name, <laughs> <laughs> and we would film it and be like, "We don't think this is real. Say Bill Kelly." This girl would be fingering herself. She'd be like, "Oh, Bill Kelly," <laughs> and we'd fucking send it to Tommy. <laughs> like, Look at this whore screaming for your dad. Dude. Oh my god. Yeah, so that's that's. I mean, we we handle like <laughs> oh, four Bill. girls. So what, what, what's your day to day role? Uh, building the social media. It's like building her. So they all have accounts like Twitter, Instagram. None of them. They all kind of stay away from Facebook because. Really, with this kind of yeah, thing, fucking, Facebook doesn't do shit for them. Yeah, they don't want and to it's Zuck. regulated as fuck. And yeah, yeah Zuck's just going to be Zuck's all right. You ever try any of your tweets, like your jokes for tweets? <laughs> so <laughs> I definitely a got a couple followers out of this because nice. I had to create the accounts. I was like, yeah, follow Brian Six. What's up? Do you guys, <laughs> need, you, you, it? Do you guys need social <laughs> media? She's following you. <laughs> hey, she, fuck you. Are you guys hiring social media for these pornographic Not anymore, ladies? though. I took that off. What? Are you guys hiring pornogra- like social media? Like I would, I'll write all their tweets for them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my butthole is so wet right now. Shane's ass to make it work. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, hey guys, that's the cam girls do that. They follow you on Twitter and like, oh, sick a Twitter, a Twitter follow, and then you look it up and you're like, huh? it's just some naked chick, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. So that's the one thing is like, I had to like research how to make these girls' social media accounts real because there's billions of ones that are fake, like Instagram, Twitter. They're all there's so many that are fake, especially in this industry. So. I, you have to legitimately go on and write tweets, like put up pictures of her just like in a car, driving, like taking a selfie. Who takes those? Are you? Uh, mostly them. They just send it uh, to our one tech guy. The and whores. Then he, yeah, the whores, yes. they take it. And then uh, our how, one tech how guy. How many selfies sh- are these whores? How, must, how many selfies should they take a day? Uh, we're getting like as far probably, as. Probably an average whore number. I was about to say. Whores uh, take a ton of fucking they do. Yeah, selfies. so we're looking at like, we're looking at like 30 stills and probably two videos a day as far as content what? for all of them. 30. Stills of the I mean, that's, that could be 10 of the same thing. You know what I mean? Damn. Like, you just sitting here fucking taking a selfie and take 10 of them and then, you know. I took a selfie today. Did you? Ooh. Yeah, with Riggins. My sister's oh, dog yeah. fell, oh, nice. asleep. The rape fell asleep on my shoulder. Yeah, the rape Father Riggins. Good. Did you send so. it to Beezer? Sent it to my sister and my girlfriend. <laughs> it's up on the campsites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're saying you have one dude. Uh, no, no, no. We almost had one dude. So You almost caught him. What's that? You almost caught a dude? We had one on the line, dude. Up and fucking he line away, snapped. Dude. <laughs> 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 we were reeling him in, though. So you're saying a dude just only showing his nipples and dick, basically? The one guy that's uh, he leads Chatterbait, and every day, like, there's always what ones are trending, and there's always this one guy in Boston who from just shows from like nips down, and he's sitting there just whacking. Just you tripping, would think it was a dude. gift, to be honest with you. That's literally the motion. He's just doing that. So he's not getting into it where he's going to come. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. really stroking. But he'll, he'll give it a little he's couple. Teasing. He's teasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many, how many minutes would you say you've clocked watching this guy stroke it at work? We're probably talking an hour. <laughs> you've seen an hour of his <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you only need like 40 seconds. I'm looking at background. You know, I'm looking Dude, at aesthetics. No, I, I need you. to know what's working Dude, for him. I mean, him. I, like, I support it's... you doing your fucking job. I have to, yeah. It's like, I support you. This one girl that we have out in LA, she started and fucking, there's like some what, disgusting fish tank in the back with like a dead turtle. I'm like, yeah, we can't have that. <laughs> She's like, he died. I'm like, throw it the fuck out. Ew, you dude. whore? <laughs> you know, do you like, call, do you like, when you send him emails, you're like, dear whore. Ah, uh, no. I just call him like number three, four, <laughs> whatever the fuck. Damn. Like tits. That'd be sick if they did replace the word sex worker with just slut. Went back to that. Yeah. Just be like, I'm very, you know, it's, there's some judicial. Uh, rulings coming out in Philadelphia in favor of sluts. <laughs> <laughs> the new DA in Philly is very pro slut. The cops hate him. He's very pro slut. Is he pro? Is He's he really? pro weed and pro slut. Is this the guy yeah. getting everybody out of jail? Yeah, yeah. cops yeah, hate that. him. He was a defense lawyer for forever. Yeah, and sold dude, old fucking, NA banked off of that dude, one the, the other day. Police commission. He loves sluts. Hates him, bro. And it's like uh, I was reading about it. It's like a three strikes type thing where like if it's a first time offense, if you're a slut, it's it's hmm. legal. Like it's like. Well, they're deal. trying to switch. No it more to... arresting people for paraphernalia. Yeah, they're, they're not punishing the drug user. They're trying to punish the yeah. dealer. So it's like they're treating the user as like you're a vi- you know a victim in a sense, or it's like you're sick. Yeah. So we're not going to put you in jail. I mean, I'm fine. in theory, it makes sense. Of course, because if you got a woman who like who's in the average, not the fucking She's webcam girls, but like the average like street walking or back page hooker. Yeah, I'd say 
70 percent of the time probably got raped at some point yeah a chick who's been raped who's using drugs and then dude. throwing the fucking slammer dude i take a hard line with that stuff since we started this because raping? i'll tell you right now no. <laughs> <laughs> i take a hard line against raping ever since i started yeah. this ever since no I started no a couple it's, months ago there's girls out there that do porno that are in that are business that are making money they, they're in it they know the angles they're making fucking millions yeah but they're, they're but the majority are fucking idiots yeah. and sluts that have probably been raped by their uncle or whatever really? the fuck oh they're very God. stereotypical stuff like i'm what? serious like yeah, what they don't call but somebody that's an... who got raped by their uncle a slut <laughs> well they're slutting it up now Just fucking sluts who got raped Dude, by their uncle <laughs> they sell themselves like that know, i've well, seen a girl what? with a profile is like i was raped by my two uncles what growing came, up also what? i'll be live 7 p.m tonight well, Join my show. Well, what they come, love it what comes first the uncle or the slut <laughs> <laughs> that's very true. I don't mean to get all philosophical on no, you. That's, that's, a that's tough deep, question. dude. <laughs> true. It's 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 you got to see it from uh, from my angle where you have to looking at porn from a business angle. First off, very tough because it's so stupid. But <laughs> there's a millions to be made, and these people fucking know. There's girls out there that like Jenna Jameson is fucking huge. Fucking mm -hmm. uh, who's the girl you met? Lisa. Lisa Marie, Ann. Lisa Ann. Yeah. She's another one. They own their own production companies. They put these cam girls on. They have their own moldings of their vagina, a, uh, that stuff. Like, that shit is ridiculous. I met her at a porn convention. <laughs> I went there. I was. I had, like, a foam finger. I was like... <laughs> you're dressing a guy who would be at a... You're literally dressing a guy who would be at a porn convention right now. <laughs> <laughs> that thing holds a beer. So it's the I. same outfit. <laughs> I, know. I know. You two literally... You. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> We're all wearing the I'm same like there with me. Um, we'll be the cam I just have booth. the physique of somebody who would be there. <laughs> That's all. I fill my hoodie out a little more porn fan like. <laughs> It'd be funny to get into a porn convention. You have to like brush both sides of the metal detector. Yeah, you or, like I tuned you out. I, you know what? Actually, you guys could help me out with this. You guys have a pretty heavy listening, and from what I, the some of the the fans of, of of this podcast I've met, which would definitely be right up this alley. We are actively no joke. We actually need a couple of male actors. To do really, to jerk online, it. no, no, to do uh, videos with the girls, to fuck the girls, to fuck the girls live uh, on this. Can you wear like a wrestler mask? They can be a luchador if they want, dude. <laughs> they can be Rey Mysterio. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Uh, really, dude. Gay Mysterio. Now, nah, be honest with you, no. You, you gotta. You, they need to face. All right, it's, you hear that, yo, listeners? How much are you gonna pay? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, all of our I'm, listeners' manager. How much? We'll, are you we'll pay? put a base. We'll put a base pay and plus percentage of whatever the show brings in. Honest <laughs> to God, <laughs> how much? I'm not lying to you. How much does Matt and Shane's secret podcast get out of this, dude? dude? If if our new sponsor was just us prostituting out our listeners, just we just become like male. That'd be sick. Get that fucking so, idiot what, from what, Tennessee. The one was like, we got. Hats. He's not an idiot, dude. What, I didn't mean that. What, He's what not are we? Chad? What do you fucking Chad will fucking devastate these. Whores and your stable, you, dude. dude. What do you call it? Uh, you're bored if you want to drive up from Tennessee, dude. dude you want yeah. to fuck on camera? Yeah, man. We're only going to take like I'm 10 dead serious though. Our one girl who is Chad, uh, bro, he's got the fucking Chad looks like he has a hog. So we're uh, a girl in <laughs> Philly and this girl in Reading, like right before I forget what the town's called, but it's like right before Reading. Um, Mechanicsburg. Yeah. <laughs> is it my girlfriend? <laughs> It's your grandma. That's my bitch grandma. Yo, so, oh my god, so that was a callback to our deleted episode. Yeah. Ah, right. I forgot yeah, we you, need, that up you need dudes to come fuck these ladies. Yeah, and or actually, more or less, they there's uh, the POV thing. We would actually need too. They wouldn't have to show their face. It would just be a downward angle at their dick getting getting sucked the dick off. Yeah. Some but head. not show. Oh, it wouldn't show their face. Yo, we boys. would pay less for that because it's just head. But Still, anybody can go full on it, fuck. I'd have to suck in my gut the whole time. <laughs> like, I would start <laughs> forgetting to suck in my gut. It would slowly seep into the camera. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. you just wear one of those six pack t shirts, dude. Yeah. So, I mean, if there's any guys out there that uh, they got How the much look, you gonna pay these boys, dude? I mean, it depends. I, I got mean, a fucking. I might have a parking cone I can throw at you. Dude. I got a guy. Oh my I, god! See, everybody thinks enough. they have a guy because I thought I had a couple guys, but then they it starts to become a reality. Reality, and it's like they're like. Wait, all right, yeah, I'll fuck this bitch. And I'm like, I'm dead serious. I actually know a guy who already did this. He, okay. did, he did male porn. He was part of a bukkake scene Ooh. on Craigslist. Wow. He's, I was going to ask him to come on eventually, but fuck it. He did. He's a Craigslist killer, dude. <laughs> he really is. He would go on Craigslist and just find the weirdest shit. Now, bukkake oh, all at the same time? or Yeah, one well, after it was kind of one after another. Yeah, yeah. But 
that entailed him not touching the girl. Yeah. He just shot for being a sniper? He just jerked off okay. during a porn okay. and then just walked in, cummed on this girl's face, and left. Well, this is what they do. If you look at the line, work. they're all just sitting yeah, there. Like, him and yeah, a bunch of yeah. other dudes were jerking off from Craigslist oh, for like 30 tough. bucks. Yeah. That's, that's a fucking... But then one time, this is, this is the most fucked up one I thought was... I mean, the Bukaki thing is terrible, but uh, he met this lady on Craigslist who wanted to make a porn with him mm-hmm. to send to her husband that was a troop. Whoa. No. And she was like, he's into this. Did he do it? Damn. Yeah. He did it? He went and supported the troops. That's like Jarhead, dude. Benedict yeah. Arnold, Except dude? it's real. Oh. Like, except he, the troop was apparently in on it. He's a... Whoa. Damn. You know, I mean, the troop wanted oh, to see Oh, he liked it. it. I thought he was... Oh, 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 okay. I he thought was he was Benedict Arnold and no. our boys overseas. Dude. No, he supported the troops. This guy was overseas and he just wanted to get cucked? He wanted his girlfriend to fuck on camera. Dude, think of how mm. hard... Did he do it? Yeah. Of course, dude. He had to. Was also, though, I mean, this was probably in hindsight, unless it was his wife. It's probably some side piece for this guy to be like, yo, send me some fucking... Yeah. I mean, cuck porn's cuck porn, dude. It's probably... His ba- a lot of those guys marry up before they roll over. It's, it's also true. on its way out, too. The whole fucking... Damn, the dude. cuck thing with the, with the bull coming in. Uh-huh. Big black dude coming in. Yeah, I'll tell you it's, what, not in this studio. What? <laughs> you like it in that bed, dude. You like, you like that. Cuck porn is alive and you well. You like that, dude. <laughs> dude, imagine you're in your tent, dude, and all of a sudden you just watch your fucking babe cuck you, and then you roll out and start... I'd be like... You gotta fight ISIS. Out, like, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, lot of, fire uh, me up, dude. lot of dick sucking going on with the cuck. They want more action with the cuck. What you mean? Meaning that, you know, traditionally when a cuck, you, you watch cuck porn, it's a guy sitting on the side watching his wife get railed by some dude who's got a fucking huger. And yeah. then, but now it's getting him involved. Yeah, and I've seen a lot of that. And yeah, that ruins that's a huge... And having what? Like, say the guy... Suck his dick. The guy... Su- say what? The guy, like, oh, yeah. sucks the cream pie out of his own yep. wife. Oh. oh, yeah. Or when he... After he, he fucking nuts in her, this yeah. cuck comes in and cleans up. Swabs the deck. That's oh, what yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, swabs the deck, dude. Dude, I used to have this really little... Horrible. I had this tiny little porn booklet my <laughs> cousin gave me when I was little. When I was real little. It was under my mattress for, like, a hot three weeks, and I was like, dude, I gotta get rid of this thing. The block was too hot. It was too dangerous. And it was it was, it was was erotic literature. That's, I think this is imprinted on me, because I still do, like, reading a lot erotic lit, and I've caught a couple beats to it. And there was this story about, like, this... They're on a boat, and this captain is just banging this dude's wife. I was maybe fucking, like, 11, and I read about the guy coming down... And literally, sw- that's where I got swabbing the deck from. Uh, the guy, he was like, and I remember the captain's semen was saltier than mine. I remember being like, oh, what, what the, the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, 11 years old, bro. It was saltier than mine? That saltier means he also mine. tastes his. Because he, like, I think he, like, <laughs> cucked him up and followed him up or whatever, and he, like, swabbed the deck for the captain. It was like, yo, bro, this is sw- salty as hell. I know, but that, I'm saying that also insinuates Yeah, exactly. He ta- tastes I mean, his own cum. If you're going to eat the captain's cum, of course you're going to try your own, too. True, I, anybody that tastes cum, I hope you start with your own. You're like, I only eat captain's cum. <laughs> Uh, it's maritime what level? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not gay if it's at sea. Wait, so what are we called if we like? There's like madams for who like kind of pimp out ladies. What are what would we be called for pimping out dudes? Is that like sirs? Uh what's like a gigolo's pimp called? I don't know. What's a it's Papa Son. Papa Son. <laughs> We'd be fucking Japanese Papa Sons, dude. Papa Son. <laughs> I think yeah. it's just daddies, dude. Yeah, his daddy's. <laughs> Yo, your daddy's. Nice change secret daddy. Turn my hat dude. backwards, dude. I'm a fucking. <laughs> Yo, if I turn my hat backwards and wear a hoodie, I look, I look like just a bad Kevin James cosplay. <laughs> dude, we can definitely. Oh my god, I'm gonna try to rally up the troops, dude. That's Throw great. Out. Yo, Saracini, bring down that hog. Yeah, man. We need Saracini. I got. I got we a, need Chad. I got a cousin, bro, who's got a. I've seen it, bro. We're being. We need Spud Diddley to pop that dick yep, out. We need yep. Alt Right Pat, my calling cousin. Calling all the dogs, Ca- dude. Calling all massive hogs. Alt Right Pat, <laughs> get and this off is, that boat and come fuck up. And we're not looking for just Still one. And we're looking for multiples because it's got to be switched up on each show. Can't keep the same thing. You can't keep the Trends same. Trends die fast as fucking cam you world. You can't keep the same. I don't know, bro. My boy's parking cone might go to the top. My That's boy's the thing. A lot of guys like you to see a credits. mini going in. He needs credits, dude. He needs to be like, and parking cone played as. True. It might be a shameful night. Some of them shame the dick. Ooh, we can't shame this thing, bro. I think alt-right Pat, my cousin, would be into getting his dick shamed. All right. Really? No, that's a horrible thing. <laughs> he's, he's, every time I call him Alt Right Pat, he messages me whenever he listens. Like, don't call me Alt Right, dude. <laughs> like, shut up, Alt Right Pat. <laughs> dude. So yeah, there you go. So Your do you in the, in the chat out. like? Do you get active in like the like chat? If it's up something that stuff? could result in income towards the company, then I have to respond. Or at least I sometimes I, sometimes I forward to the little kid. He's like twenty three. I'm like, yo, answer this guy. He's like, yeah. 
I don't want to know what to say. I'm like, dude, just tell me if I Do you, you ever like send stick. smiley faces or try to like sound like a girl? I'll like emoji the fuck out. I avoid Damn, words dude. like nobody's business. Honestly. I just put like the winky with the tongue out. That's Damn, a big dude, one. You respond yeah. to dudes. Yeah, yeah. But they're like, but no, they're Wait saying. A Wait a second. Time out. Time out. So Let's you, get into it. All right. So you're sexting men emojis. No, no. no. So when they message yeah. the account, well, yeah, technically, huh. when they message the account, I have to bring you back. I got to give them sext. something. Yeah. So fucking, I will say like, are you into this? I'll say sure, and then leave it with an emoji because I'm a girl. I gotta I sell understand, it. dude. You're catfishing retards, but yes, <laughs> still, that's it's, a horrible word. It's funny to think that technically you're also being pimped by John. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude. I mean, you're sexting dudes. Yeah. What's like the most like <laughs> sexual thing you've ever said to them? Uh, you ever talk about their dick? I met up with this one guy. <laughs> <laughs> That got weird. No, 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 no. I, you never it's had. always the same thing where it's like, if you, you say something like, sure, dude, I was like, anything fucking gay as I ever said, dude. Oh, it was like, right off the bat, it. this is it. So this, it was like, our, I don't know, probably like two weeks in, and this girl, the one girl we had at the time, she got a message from this kid, and he was 100% like business. He was like, listen, I can come up from DC, I can get the hotel room in Philly, I want to shoot three hours total i want to do scenes of like uh, a random intrusion so like he would be just like in there or she would be asleep in there like or doing yoga yeah, or something rape her yeah. exactly yes Holy so fuck. yeah yeah and uh random intrusions yeah <laughs> well, you know, yeah, I think Bill Cosby got accused of oh. random intrusions. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, but anyway, she wanted, she so, wanted the classic T.J. Miller treatment. Dude. Yeah, she <laughs> would get the bomb threat and fucking. <laughs> so he was calling his dick and fucking no. But uh, she, he was like, "This is what uh, I'm willing to pay. Uh, let How me know much? if you can work with it." How much? Uh, he was gonna pay a thousand. Woo! To rape her, which Tend. is. No, it's crazy low. Fuck that, dude. We, I, I came right back at 2,500. I started haggling with the dick. <laughs> Did you? Fuck yeah. And you were talking as the girl? So right off the bat, I didn't get right to the haggling. That, the gayest shit I did, I had to go right off the bat. Because I, I had a real man make sure I'm no. But at this point, she wasn't verified. Because we had trouble with Pornhub. They were saying the picture we sent was not clear. Okay. And like I said before, to get verified on Pornhub on your account, all you have to do is send a picture of your face, make sure it's clear. You're holding up a sign that has your account name, and that's it. You're verified. You get a blue check. So when did you say something gay? Uh, almost, almost immediately. What like, happened? dude, you gotta go gay, dude. What'd you say? I was like, pretend I'm the guy, dude. So he said what he had. I said, I said, what dates are you looking at, or like when when are you looking to shoot this? And he said, I'm looking like you know in a month or something. And I said, okay. She, he was like. Also, uh, I don't know what your deal is with anal or uh, where I can finish. And for some reason, I just replied. I was like, uh, no to the anal anywhere you want. Smiley emoji. And I sent it. And I was like, Jesus Christ, I am gay as shit. Because I just. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we reeled him in. Uh, totally we got the good. sale. I got good commission. 2500 bucks, he said? Uh, no, we ended up at like two grand. Oh my! It's because yeah. you told him he could come wherever. What if he like came in her fucking eyeball? Fuck her, whatever, dude. She's out, she's on the contract. She's a troop. That's true. She's a troop. She's a mercenary. Yeah, she's dude. Fucking... She's the original too. She's our patent. Oh, she's, she's the our fucking, general. She's the she's workhorse, the fucking, dude. Yeah, dude. She she got teeth like once. She probably has like film like a frog on her eyes. It just blocks. I'll tell you this. <laughs> that guy was not happy when she showed up to the hotel that day. I wasn't there, fucking. So you talking about all the airbrush magic? Oh, my God, dude. He walked up and was like, how you doing, man? He thought she, she was like, what? He's like, what, are you holding the boom or something? He's like, no, I'm going to suck your dick. He's like, God damn, I got ripped off. Oh, my God. He's like, I can come I can come wherever I want, right? And she was like, no, that was just the dude in the he's glasses. Like, he's like, what does that fucking wink face emoji mean? And you're like, anybody want coffee? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Or they got done, and she's like, "Why did you fuck me in the ass?" He's like, "I thought I couldn't fuck you." Like, no, that was just a dude who takes all his messages. That's just sick. He's he's weird. That's just Beezer, dude. Yeah, Beezer. Wait, Beezer what if she there. would have gotten fucked in the ass? Shouldn't you have asked? Funny thing is, she's actually really in the anal now. She was she did it before a couple times. He probably but fucking... She said that she wouldn't want to do it on these custom tapes. Yeah, yeah. But now she's like really into it. I don't know what's going on with that, but she probably she's just switched chased, up. She's trying that to secure quick. the bag, bro. The fucking money's probably right. Extra money in it. Yeah, absolutely. Chase once you, I think once you start taking in the butt, though, the, it's your shelf life drops quickly. Absolutely. I don't yeah. think you can you're take on a timer. In the butt. Yeah, you're I mean on a that's timer. your foundation. Your butthole is the foundation of your body. If you're like, you start ramming that, dude, you go fucking. If yeah. your butthole's getting cracked every day, yeah, dude. yeah. That's a, I mean, my butthole has never been penetrated, and it's hard enough. That's what's keeping you. 
experience on that dude. thing has been tough. As soon as you let someone in there, dude, from it's, D.C. If I fucking dump too hard, my butthole's a mess. I can't even imagine some guy <laughs> fucking uh, yeah. pounding well, that's me the, That is the weird thing about butt stuff. Like, it, it does mm. feel good to take a dump. You fully get butt pleasure when you take a shit. There's nothing gay totally about when I take a like, shit, dude. Stop trying to coming g- out. You try to gay up. <laughs> no, just because right. you're gay, you're trying totally, to gay up it's everybody totally else's cool life. I'm like, talking about guys it's... coming in this girl's face with yeah. emojis. So I was like, get a little gay over here, Mikasko. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it is totally cool to be like, oh my God, I took the biggest shit. Like, the bigger the shit, the better it well, feels. Right. <laughs> There's the same thing about... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a total size queen when it comes to turds, dude. <laughs> I stand up from a little turd. I'm like, ew, what the hell is that? You're a diva, dude. You are a sex or a shit diva, dude. <laughs> you see this big fucking brown snake in the door. You're like, hi. Hey, Zaddy. <laughs> Thickest turds only. <laughs> Damn. Dude, every time I eat five, I'm like, I'm, I'm chasing that girth, dude. <laughs> I just crushed a bowl of the hustler's diet, dude. I'm ready for it. <laughs> I've, been, I've been crushing oatmeal, dude. That's a hustler's diet. Oh I'm God. in my kitchen snooting, snorting fucking, uh, what's that shit called? Musa meal, whatever. <laughs> I forget. Never mind. Whatever. You, you blew it. I fucking <laughs> But that's that. That's what's. So that's... you gay text, and then what else do you do? No, I don't have to do that pretty much anymore because, like... Do you get boner breaks at work? Like, if you get too hard, can that's you go outside and Kyla cool brought that up to me. She's like, what, are you just fucking hard at work all day? And I'm like, no, I'm really not. Like, I'm desensitized to this stuff anymore. And it's... Damn. Yeah, it's not all porn. It's just the fact that, like, I'm in an office in a public place looking at Pornhub. Yeah. If anything, I'm just, like, looking around, like, please don't look at my fucking computer. But, you know... They come, they come in, they're like, Brian, why is your tie tied around your neck like that? Like, I'm just walking in. I'm on the door handle. I was like, what? What's going on? It's lunch. I open the door, your tie's tied to the doorknob. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but other than that, it's like, um, so now that we have like, uh, there, well, there's about to be like four girls. We don't really have to do much. All I have to do is really just go in, cut and paste the messages that I think are lucrative, send it to her, but what do you want? And then the she'll send back the reply. I cut and paste and send it back. And you add a little. But I'm still how many emojis? Technically, I'm push, I'm pulling the trigger on the on the set, but it's, I'm not in my own words. Really? So that is working all though. the time. The whole sometimes I'll reply yeah, back. I will. Sometimes I will. I will. I'm not gonna lie. I, I do it. I, I would do that. I would. I, it's so kill hard it. not to because these dudes are fucking nerds, and it, it's like, yeah, oh my god. And I it's would so get funny. so into it, dude. It's. I'm gonna tell you right now, it, it, gay or not, it. It's so easy to get in there because it's so fucking funny. It's so and easy. Oh, to get my there, boy dude. Dan at work, the, yeah, the young boy, was like twenty three. He was the man. We sit there and it's, dude. You two, you would never. Neither one of you would survive in this world. Why, Be- dude? The shit they send, it would just, dude. You, there's dude, no way you could contain yourself. I can just... get guys hard as fuck, dude. Yeah, Matt's gotten me hard a bunch. Yeah, dude. Ah, you put me. Put send these things to me. Let me type. Right, them. Go, right, I will. Dude. How about I'll this? I will text you. Fuck, I will text both of you this week. Uh, just a couple ones that I know are going to be replied to. Okay. Yeah, we'll dude. do that. And I'll look at your replies. I won't put them up and I'll show you the girl's reply to them and we'll see the difference. And I can guarantee you there's, it's like fucking day and night. It'll be like yeah. Boulder Dash. <laughs> What's, you ever uh, play Boulder Dash? No. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he'll, he'll have the real answer. Uh, yeah. You and me will get fake answers and we'll see which yeah, one was I'll do actually it I'll do it tomorrow. Dude, okay. I'll get Send fucking to 80 dude. tomorrow. You know put what it, I mean? We'll put them on the board, dude. Let the boys have at it. There you go. You can put it up and see what you're fucking fancying about them and then they can send me we the audition some, tapes. I'm telling you, we got some listeners that I think Frankson. You imagine that bull coming in? Who's you don't dick? want Frankson, dude. You don't no. want Frankson. He's a, Yo, he's, our, a thick, our, uh, he's got a fucking thick old dong. He'd be yeah, coming dude. in hot. Redding, Redding, Size Queen. So, just so you guys know. Okay. Redding's a size queen? Our Redding we girl also is have a size queen. cover in case SP500. Oh, yeah, dude. All of them in yeah, What about some lesbian stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. Huge. Ooh, that's another Redding. And Philly. Hey, our one female listener, you have to do lesbian stuff. Yeah. They're, she's into so. it. She wants it. <laughs> you have to do Sorry. lesbian SP500's stuff. SP500 is driving her <laughs> Sorry. car right now. Like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> yeah. So Sorry, we don't have a choice. That's basically it. I mean, and honestly, it's uh, right now, and that's <laughs> the best was he uh, he texted me today. He was like, listen, when uh, what's her name gets on next week, the girl that's going to be from Philly, he was like, let's cap it. I was like, what? He's like, cap the stable. We're done for now. Meaning that we have enough. Like, it's, it's, it's just, bringing in a ton. It's, I have this uh, gay dude from Alabama. His name's Dairy Queen. 
<laughs> you could film him jerk off. He's yeah, a gay guy. He's, Dude. he's a little short, little tiny, angry man. But okay, that's hot. He'd be his great. Name's Dairy Queen. Yeah, as well. That's his porn name. <laughs> okay, he does gay cams. His name's huh. Dairy Queen. Yeah, if he's he looking to cam up, him. dude, we'll fucking. I'll put him on. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. I'll talk to him about it. He's, yeah. he's definitely gay. Tell that redneck to send me his fucking his his setup. Does he have a cam? For sure. <sighs> that's gonna be I- tough to get a hold of in Alabama. Yeah, it's true. a very poor, dumb fucking state <laughs> Full of fucking dumb shits Just like him, that fucking bitch dude. Shane's nemesis That's my internet nemesis, dude Oh, is it? That's what's up Yeah, but he's coming around I saw him complaining about A Quiet Place in a different thread Oh, that I movie. see that, yeah He was like pretty He actually said almost the exact same thing I said to you guys about I'm like, it's kind of It reminds me of uh, Get Out Yeah It's like it's just kind of overrated yeah, Because yeah. of who made it I don't even know what the fuck it is. Fucking Jim from The Office made a horror movie. Stop, oh, he directed bro. it too? Yeah. Oh, oh well, he's, he's, his wife's Emily Blunt's yeah, in it, right? Yeah, He's yeah. the man. And that's yeah, a cool, like it's, it's, it's a good movie. It's same thing as fucking Get Out. It's like, it's all right. Yeah. It's fucking good. It's not like, I'm not cam girl into it. I just, I, I just can't <laughs> get know? into the Jim Pam humor, dude. I never, yeah, that's I never six. fucking nah, 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 I, love, dude, dude, I like the white dude. The office is hilarious. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. But no, those yeah. two being like best friends that think uh, they're better than everybody yeah. makes me want to strangle them to death, dude. Yeah, and I wish that Iranian I wish they worked at YouTube and that Iranian <laughs> that fucking Turkish retard came in and shot both of them. <laughs> oh my god. Um what are we at? Time was. Uh Fuck Shane, you motherfucker we're at an hour and twenty seconds. Whoa. What? Yo, that was the first time in a minute, right? I know, I know. I, I Damn, remember bro. last last week I was getting some. Well you uh, were you were too time dilated off the C B D S dude. Yeah, I know. Now I'm back, my time's back. An hour and twenty seconds. So that's the closest. Dude, that that's was gotta be the closest. While you were asking, it was at like one fifteen. Twenty so seconds was, while I'm sitting here just yeah, obviously I have no idea of the time. That's fucking unreal. <laughs> that's good stuff, dude. That's crazy that's fucking shit. That's sick ass shit. Do you want it? what are you doing? What the fuck I, are you doing? Wizard. <laughs> hey dude, it fucking bees are break, dude. This is yeah, this isn't you fucked it. Dude. Yo, this, this isn't is, a fucking union podcast, pro- dude. Yeah. Shut the fuck down. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Get up there. What up, bro? Motherfucking bees are dude. Guest just our guest just decides has, it's fucking break time. Our guest, our guest has a sense of K tweets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I saw uh, I saw a quiet place last night with my bag. So what is that movie? Uh, it's about these monsters that kill you if you make noise. So, like, it's in a post-apocalyptic world. They live kind of, it looks like rural western PA. So, this is about, like, me in my bed with my girlfriend at night. If I move, she's like, shit Yes, it did. <laughs> well, that's what I was kind of getting to. So, the movie's fucking silent. Like, while yeah. you're in there, it's dead quiet, a lot of the scenes. Ooh. So, like, if I, like, touched a wrapper or a drink or something, <laughs> I'd see my fucking girlfriend's head look over at me. I'm like, dude, I was like, you're worse than those fucking monsters. <laughs> that's hilarious. I was like, you're a fucking sound hawk. She was like, what? Oh, Same. my God. Yes. Every night I sleep in bed, it's just, it's the exact. If I go like this, crack my knuckle. I go, ah, yeah. can you not? The fucking dog sleeps in between us, and he literally extends his arms and pushes me <laughs> as hard as he can all night. Literally all night, I'm just wrestling a fucking dog. <laughs> this like forty pound dog, I'm just like pushing it. That's so eventually, every point. night around like four a.m., I pick him up and throw him off the yeah, bed. Yeah, get the fuck off. But every single night, I spend every time I sleep there. I get pushed by that dog for three hours before I go to sleep. And yeah, then they, I end up sleeping on the couch or they something. They extend their yeah, fucking... Yeah, he extends like his arms. It's so funny. Dude, I was... Uh, I would have my dogs... There's like a field behind my house. And a random fucking pit bull came out of nowhere, joined us in the field. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then it was playing my one dog. I guess... I think I... I don't know if I said this on the podcast or not. My one dog recently just bowled over... Trucked that one. Broke puppy. that dog's I leg. Think it might have broke its leg. Damn, you didn't say it was a puppy. It was fucking like eight weeks old, bro. So Eight I'm weeks. like, yes. Oh my god! Young little, young little pipsqueak, dude. But I'm like, yeah, it's a pit bull. It'll be, a, it'll be all right. And I hopefully it didn't. It's, I was like, dude, it just limped a little. But this fucking like 65 pound, I think it was a Staffordshire, came into the park, and I'm like, this is how desperate I am for friends for my dog. I'm like, well, let's just see, let's just see. <laughs> Turned out, it was, dude, it was uh, from across the street. Came by, they had a wonderful play date. Its owner came out 10 minutes later. I just sat there like, I guess I got to fucking take this dog back with me. You got a stray dog chilling Otis, with dude, your dog. Otis came out and started humping the fuck out of my dumbass dog. And I was like, yes, dude. Which dog, great. Like, Which dog doesn't have friends? Both of them. Jackson. My girlfriend makes fun of me. No, Matilda has friends. She's like, you, Jackson has no friends. I'm like, Jackson's got fucking friends at the dog park. She's like, name one. I'm like, I don't know their fucking names. The one, like, the, then one not he handicapped. Friends. I'm like, fuck you, That's dude. true. If, you, if it's not Facebook official, they're not Otis, real dude. Otis. I was like, yo, Jackson's got a friend. His name's Otis. Matilda doesn't even like him. It's no big deal. So that's what's up. Nice. You got a new new dog park friend? 
Well, it's not really. It's just a field behind my house. I've been. I've been. <laughs> it's the only buried? place I can bring. Yeah, I'm, I can't really go back there anymore. <laughs> His dogs are fucking nuts. Last Although, time I went back there, dude, my dogs enter a dog park and it's just like the House of Pain video, dude. Every, all the dogs are like, <laughs> <laughs> it goes fucking nuts. Did Finel Finel said that you were like, yeah, bring your dog out to the dog park. I, I like, want Arr. big dogs to fuck my dog up, so like to teach him some <laughs> fucking dog respect, dude. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Riggins, Riggins and Zeus will body some dogs, will, dude. Riggins, Zeus is a Zeus, well, is, a, are Zeus big. is a wolf. Riggins is like just the thickest bull. Yeah, he's dude. A big, he's a big his boy. head's like this yeah. fucking big. I went over there today to let them out. They're so happy. I need some dogs. They're so like, nice. they're good dogs. But dog they, when they play, dude, it's like holy yeah. shit. Take it easy. Just, Riggins has to be like 150 pounds, dude. He's yeah, fucking man. huge. Jesus Christ. He's fat too now. He's got these big ass bitch hips. It's pretty great. That is Zeus has to be up there too, doesn't he? Zeus is. They're probably. Like, Zeus is probably. Like one thirty. Yeah, you guys got yeah, a good two hundred sixty yeah, pound dog going on over there. He's a he's a purebred German Shepherd, white German Shepherd. He yeah, looks he's bull. fucking crazy. One time he caught a bird when we were, it was great. We were uh, at the beach this summer with my family, and we were on the pool. It was a nice time mm-hmm. drinking. We we're like, yeah, this is. It was the first time the whole trip that it was actually fun because it was just my family. Yeah, that sucks. You guys Oof. Were fighting. Just my yeah, fights the whole fucking time. Yeah. It's like, what do I want to fucking hang out with you guys? <laughs> the only time a beach trip is fun is if you go with friends or yeah. like cousins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just your immediate family. That yeah. kind of sucks. Yeah. Well, you have three brothers, so that'd be yeah. fun. But that'd be tight. I have two sisters, and my fucking girlfriend there. It was ah, like, eh. man, dude, like, let's go on that bike ride and get saltwater <sighs> taffies. I'm like, I'm gonna stay in the house. I'm gonna sit in the air conditioning. This is retarded. Yeah, this is, fuck anyway, that. so we're all having fun in the pool, <laughs> and then this fucking bird swooped too low. Flying mid flight, this fucking German Shepherd jumps in the air and snatched a bird out of the air. Fuck. Nice. And killed it. And I just heard my mom like, ah! <laughs> I was in the pool, like, what the fuck is going on? I look up, he's ripping a bird in half. Oh, like, fuck. holy Wait, shit. Wait, what kind dude. of bird was it? Seagull? No, it was just a bird. I don't oh. know. Like a fucking Holy. sparrow. That would be funny as one big dogs. As no, seagulls, no, no. you see that? Fast, Dude, you too. ever see a dead seagull? Mm-hmm. They're fucking huge. Yeah, yeah they are big. Killed a few. Like chickens. In my yeah, dive. man. Do you, how'd you kill a seagull? Uh, three man slingshot and uh, rocks. <laughs> Just throwing rocks. Nice. <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. My cousin, I mean, it's been a while since I'm fucking born. Yeah, so, true that. You got you, know, you got at least have a couple though, bodies under your belt, dude. <laughs> My cousin up. killed a gull. You ever do the Alka Seltzer? <laughs> yeah, we used to give work? it to him. I don't, you, it's hard I, to track them. Yeah, they don't I mean? really. People are like, yeah, they're try. They don't really go down for it. Yeah, I mean, they go down for literally like shit on a beach. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. for that, it's like I no, don't know. We were my cousin. We were throwing it bread, and my cousin sat off the top of a deck with a base with a not a baseball bat, a wiffle ball bat. So okay. they swooped down for the bread, and my cousin just connected it right in his chest. Jesus and just like, Christ, yeah, that's, fell dead. That's dude. terrible. It was fucked up for sure, but yeah. yeah. No, it's terrible. I, I think we're trying guess. to give him alka It wasn't taken, so he's like, throw up a piece of bread, I'll hit it with this bat. And we're like, all right, dude, fucking do it. <laughs> I mean, that's funny. It'd probably be funny. Because <laughs> really I was like, no way it's dead. I went down and touched its wings, and it was just, dude. I'm Damn. like, oh my God, this thing's fucking huge. And it was just dead as a fucking door. Oh, uh, poor guy. Hey. He just Randy Johnson's this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Just, he fucking crushed it. He just McGuire to Seagull with a wiffle ball bat. It was like, plink. And it just went, Meh. <laughs> like, Damn, with a wiffle ball bat yeah. too. That must have been a decent cut. Right to the chest. Like, he probably stopped his fucking heart, the dude. Bat right in meat. the fucking seagull heart. Yeah. Anyway, that's how you kill a gull. We used to actually go on the beach, and their his parents rented a house literally on the beach, and we used to get the same thing: three men slingshot, oh, and put yeah. water balloons in it, and sit back at our deck. Fly them onto the beach and have someone just everyone to take turns standing there watching him. They'd be like, "Oh my god, this is fucking hits all." Yeah, it's hilarious. So funny. But when you're a kid, you don't think how far this thing's gonna go, and then the first couple like successfully Dude. launched, you're like, "Holy those shit!" Thing, those These things should are... be illegal. Oh, absolutely. We were launching water balloons, dude. Imagine you yeah. had a nice day with your family and all of a sudden, <laughs> and it's totally slapped. And then you just have some. We would just walk off the beach like, so what's going? So what's coming? You just put it away and just sit on the deck and you're just like. You ever have it explode because you filled it up too much? Fuck yeah, dude. Because then you're like, come on. <laughs> it's the worst. That, I talked about this before on the cast when we bombed the trolley with like <laughs> fruit and stuff. I had to have talked about this. I don't recall. So we used to go down to Ocean City. And there's a trolley that runs around Ocean City, which just, you know, picks everyone Ocean up. Ocean City, Jersey? Or Maryland? Yeah, Ocean City, New okay. Jersey. And there's a trolley that picks people up. Might even be like a little bus, but it has like open windows and everything. And it's like nice for the summertime. And you can take it. It runs all along the boardwalk. So the one time we 
pelted it with like tomatoes and eggs and shit when everyone was standing on there and like that wasn't enough because we would like wave it down to come stop and get us then a bunch of us would come out and be like, bam, bam, bam. so we put my cousin my cousin was like I'll ride it and then catch it on the next street and bomb it with eggs <laughs> <laughs> we fucking bombed it and my cousin everyone was all fired up my cousin was like come on let's go get them I think I know where they are and no one followed him off the bus and he just ran and caught up with us he's like dude they wouldn't fucking come with me oh he was trying to get the he people. was trying to lure people to come onto the beach with us we're all gonna be like yeah fuck you but like he was like they started coming off and they like were like yeah nah fuck that come on guys I think I know where they are <laughs> it's like oh this guy's gonna rape us <laughs> <laughs> this guy's trying to rape us this guy me, like, I was like yo who'd you hit and like I hit the guy with the earring like yeah I aim for him too everyone just threw it at the same fucking guy <laughs> <clears throat> oh man it was fucked up so anything else you want to add about the fact that you're a sex worker yeah I'm not a sex worker <laughs> alright anything else you want to plug <laughs> final word I'm not a sex worker let me plug this plug it dude if you got a good vid and a good hog send it this way I get okay. your money I'm serious I'm, I believe for you for some reason well not for some reason it's an obvious reason Dudes will build up to it like, I'll oh, fuck the shit out of this bitch. I'm like, all right, your face has to be on camera. Or, I don't know. I'll get back to you. Yeah, I mean, that's, they, a, that's a big, I, it's a legitimate, for some absolutely reason. it is. Yeah, but if you're a big enough loser. Exactly. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're fucking. Or if, if even if you have a job that doesn't, like, if you if you work construction, you can do it all day. You're the other thing is, we do shit. need a STD test within a week and that's it has fine. to be presented. Hey, that's a good Can't chance to up. go get an STD good. test. Will you yeah. guys pay for that or no? Uh, we can. I mean, it's okay. not a big deal. You heard it first. Yeah. Yeah. Or you Sorry, I called our potential prostitute a loser. Yeah, dude. Holy right. shit. That we say they have to wear your shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah, wear. Yeah, yeah. You gotta wear Matt Shane Secret Podcast. Did you guys just talk about that? Well, I, it keeps going offline. It's we've never like set up a. It's online. No, so no, no, no. I'm sorry. I couldn't I'm, find it. Not about the T-shirt. Click about the link someone having. I mean, sure, but I searched on the website for what Matt I, and Shane's podcast. Yeah. Uh, no, you just need the link. I know, but. You, gotta, you need to make it accessible. The, I don't need to fucking contact you to have the link. You, you got to secure the bag, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> There's this rap song right now called Secure the Bag, and it's all it's like a bunch of 40-year-old rappers rapping about the bag. It's well, like when you get the money, like Beezer's securing the bag every time he signs up a dude to fuck one of the ladies. It's like securing the bag, dude. It's like, yo, secure the fucking bag. I understand what that make means. Make the money, dude. But how is that relevant to <laughs> our shirt not being findable on this you're, website? I was saying you're trying to secure the bag, bro. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I actually meant. Didn't were you just talking about somebody had sex with your shirt on? Brooks or Brooks? Oh, yeah. Mike Brooks. That's what it was. Brooks was fucking oh wearing my our God, shirt. That's terrifying. He said while he nutted, he thought of us. That's what's up. Which is really thoughtful. While he was wearing the shirt, or yeah. yeah. All right. Pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty. That's pretty. Dope. Beezer, any final words? With words of a sex slave. <laughs> yeah, wait, dude, get dude. out, live your life. Dude. Do you? So don't don't ever let anyone <laughs> call you a does, sex slave. Wait, do your parents know what you do? Yes. Ooh, really? Yeah, my dad's all on board. Really? He don't give a fuck. He looks at it like, are you making money? Do you have his big thing is do you are you do you have insurance? Like yeah. Sure, dad. I guess he just my dad's you, old he just doesn't want like, you living with paid? him, I guess. Exactly. So he's like, Do you have insurance? Are you getting paid? Good. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to hear about the rest of it. How about your madre. Linda does not know. No. Linda doesn't know. Actually, that was Marty. That don't. was don't. Big Mart's final say. It was like, maybe not tell your mother. Definitely don't tell also your mother. Also, send me the username and password. I was like, what? It's your dad. Yeah, dude. You dad. got unlimited access, bro. Yeah, I got all of it. We have, we have premium. And premium, too, with, with Pornhub and shit is not what it's chalked up to be. Oh, dude, I was just saying this. I, I This is something That's... I do want to talk about is the, uh, the commissioning porn aspect. I just oh, learned right. this today. Yeah. You can commission porn. So you call, I don't know, it was on Reddit, but like this guy was saying, <laughs> like, this is his new shit. And he was like, and he was also bragging, like, I guarantee you can't find this anywhere. You'll never be able to find my. He was like saying, like, he gets I off can guarantee I find on it how secretive an hour. it is, for sure. I guarantee it. But he commissions his porn. So you can, like, write a script, and it's $20 mm -hmm. to $50 a minute for you to write a script and have porn stars of your choice, I guess, act out your porn. Yeah. What would you do? What would you write? I would just could. have Beezer talking dirty, dude. Dude, you would have, let like, me send instant messages. I would I mean, have Beezer so open up the sea container, dude. Like, get out of here, you bitches. Yeah, dude. <laughs> would you, if you wrote a porn, I think if I wrote a porn, I'd write Beezer, like, it's a love story. It's like the movie, it's like Her. Have you seen the movie Her? So Beezer is responding to these men who are texting his whore. But then Beezer turns out he falls in love with one of the guys. You catfish a guy and you're like, I actually love this guy, but... Now comes the hard part where he discovers it's actually you. 
you've been catfished. Yeah. He's been catfished. True. He confronts you in the hotel room because the girl doesn't show up. Okay. And he's like, where the fuck is whatever her name is? What's her you name? You got another no, name. I'm not going to say her name. What's uh, what's a good porno name for a chick? Alexandra. Where's Alexandra? Mm. And you're like... It's me. The beast. I just looked down at my dick. <laughs> I'm Alexandra. And then this is the everybody thinks it's over, but then he fucks your ass. <laughs> he fucks your ass. And you guys fall in love. And you introduce him to Linda. I would uh <laughs> And you're like, Mom And she loves this him. This is the guy from DC that paid two grand to fuck me in the ass <laughs> in a hotel. I would com- I would commission them to find a guy who looks like me and a guy who looks like Shane and have them doing a podcast. And just start then they just fucking fuck each other the table the and fuck. Dude, we can make that happen. You guys probably got a couple of fans that kind of look. I'm I think, sure. I think most yeah. of our fans look like me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but still, that's dude. There's a market for it. Trust oh, yeah. me. Any porn you can think of, there's literally no idea that you can think of in porno anymore <laughs> that I can't find a market for. Oh, for sure. Found a couple of Philly girls that are doing cam shows. Oh, oh, dude, yeah. my uh, my friend in college, his ex girlfriend, while we were in college, became not a porn star, but started doing like amateur porn. And yep. Everyone knew, everyone leaked the video. I thought he. This is when I started learning. People think differently than me because I was like, "It's your ex girlfriend, dude." He already had a new girlfriend, so I was like, "Yo, bro, check out your ex," and pulled up the link, and he was like, "What the fuck, man? I don't fucking want to talk about that." And I'm like. That'd be, I, in my head, I was like, if one of my exes started doing porn, I'm like, this is hilarious. I'm like, yo, that's my ex-girlfriend. Check that out. Yeah. He got all fucking pissed off. I'd probably like, react that I'm same like, way. Not like, maybe fucking crazy, but that. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to see that. Uh, like, yo, bro, I heard your girlfriend was in a porno. He's like, come on, man. Because you probably said it just like that. Yo, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, I, I was like, yo, bro, I got the link. He's like, don't fucking put that on. What the fuck, man? <laughs> How long ago was this? I think because she dumped him. This um, was fucking, I was maybe 2008. Maybe he cursed you. Maybe it was a bitch. Why? Maybe he was like... You will get the divorce for this. <laughs> <laughs> One day your love will fall apart for what you've done. True that. He probably cursed you that day. He did, he dude. He was a bitch. He was. Was he dude. Indian? No, he wasn't. Was Indian. it one of the Indian He was boys? an Italian. An Italian curse. Yeah, it was probably an old, the black hand, dude, the Sicilian black hand. You don't want me. that. Crept into my marriage and destroyed it. <laughs> Sorry for bringing that up. <laughs> There's a job. Uh, so it's probably why uh, your marriage fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> There's a job I actually you could do. In, in in my uh, field. No, no, no. Listen to, to me. What this is. Translator. Big Ooh. fucking need for translator. You want me to fucking opera Because Spaniel there's a huge horse? thing yeah. with like Russian porn and like German porn. Obviously, they're off the fucking rails. But they don't translate into English on the subtitles. They need people to literally translate and write down How, scene How's scene. your German? You're going to dust off your German? I mean, dude, you <laughs> can literally just Google. They don't give a shit if you oh, speak Google it. Google Translate. Yeah, you can do whatever. Nice. But yeah, it they doesn't don't, have to be, I guess. Not. Do you know how I'd much fucking smut Germany, anywhere yes. in Asia, India? Oh, my God, India. Yeah, cranking man. out. Yeah, dude. They're, They're a big incest. Doing? Big incest they have country. secret fucking tunnels, dude. Really? India's big what? incest country. Oh, yeah. That's like all it is, is it's fucking nonstop fucks mom. Yeah, yeah. You hang up yep. the fucking fo- at the phone center, go French. home and fuck your sister immediately, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, dude. I'm parched. I gotta go dude, eat my you leave the call center <laughs> after a 14 hour shift of making eight cents and fucking you go home and I fuck, fuck your mom. Ah, that makes sense. That's why Savita Bobby's so popular over there. Oh, dude. Mia Khalifa. Huge. Hell yeah. Savita Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. You guys got trans listeners? Uh, For sure, dude. Huge, we're looking. huge trans followers. We have several trans followers. Uh, that's you gotta you gotta go on the fucking quest of the hobbit to find some fucking trans yeah dude. i think they're dying out they're not dying they're fucking they're the most brave they, this bro. is the most brave oh, oh yeah that guy <laughs> they're so brave dude Girls. Yeah, they're not dying out dude trans are this is i'm gonna get that high. guy in a porno dude i'll sleep with that baby. in like in like eight years all these little kids that their parents are making trans you're gonna have a good stable all yeah, these 10 year olds they're like i want you to guys looking different. for trans bro oh yeah huge market Listener, you know what I'm talking you about. You should go on a quest, bro. Fucking, oh yeah, I'm old, clean, dude. I'm fucking clean, evil, bro. Evil, fucking evil angel. I'm evil clean, angel dude. For the last, we 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 just deleted the last episode because Matt, <laughs> well, not because of Matt, but uh, at one point Matt was like, when he was explaining this writing Commission porn, porn, yeah, he was like. Uh, I don't know. Then you just send it to just like a random, you know, porn producer. I don't know, uh, Evil Angel or something. <laughs> then like a second went by and I was like, what the fuck is Evil Angel? And I'll tell you who knew. No, Beezer goes. I'll tell you who fuck, knew. Wait, isn't that fucking tranny porn? No, god damn it. I said, what the fuck is that? Yeah. And then immediately Beezer's just like, 
That's Tranny. Dude, bees are new. Yeah, he held his tongue. Do, That's when I was like, what is that? Both of you guys. I thought were... you were going to say something. I was like, dude, I have to do marketing on all these things. I have of... to know dude, who's who. What kind of mark? Tell me what they say. I have like, to know which are... site. I got to pump their fucking traffic you to. I'm not going to go to Evil Angel. With you guys don't fucking... have any trannies. Why would you have to go to Evil Angel? Exactly. I, I, but it, if you look <laughs> up the fucking sites, and Evil Angel is probably the most popular training site, I think. I don't, I don't know, know, bro. But it's up yeah, there. You tell you me, guys. bro. I'll tell you what. I've never seen Shane was Shane's eyes darted right to the floor. He goes, oh, <laughs> fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, <it's just> <laughs> he cleared his Google history. The, both of <laughs> you guys looked right at the ground. You're like, I don't know. I don't know maybe that's the most popular. <laughs> I'm hiding my boner. Yeah, like, what, dude? You guys know the training porn. <laughs> Evil Angel. What a fucking bitch-ass name, too. Wasn't that the castle just got shut down? <laughs> What? I wouldn't know, bro. Wood put a picture up, and he said something about Eastern Penitentiary. Wait, that's no. the evil. Is angel. that? Yes, that's, I thought that was Eastern Penitentiary. Don't play it down now, dude. You're fucking that MD. Was, uh, that's, <laughs> that's the Eastern State Penitentiary. No, no, no I don't think that Wait, was. That was it. You're talking about that was a training castle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a training <laughs> castle. No, he posted a picture of the Eastern State Penitentiary, and you were like, "That's the training castle." <laughs> that's such a, dude. The training castle looks exactly like that. The <laughs> evil Angel's What's logo is castle? that castle. Is the Eastern State Penitentiary? <laughs> yes, that castle. That's where all the training. You gotta dude. break into. Eastern State Penitentiary. I tried to. So wait, Al Capone stayed at the training castle? That's where they held him? Yep. I, when I drove Uber, I picked people up from the training castle on Halloween. They have a scary Halloween training castle night. It was July. Bees are up. Yeah, yeah. The funniest ever is when up. my cousin... We were, all, we were all walking to get something to eat. It was like me, my brothers, Spud Man, and my one cousin. And we were talking about... Funtinari is this porn category when chicks like house big dildos in their pants and they fucking just it's where girls real girls will pull out a dildo and I was like dude I'm, I'm t- I don't know what the fuck it's Wait, called what do you mean will Funtinari well porn. what will they do they'll, they'll like hold it they'll like keep a dildo in their underwear and then like so it looks like it. a dick so it's like a fake obviously fake dick that a chick will pull out and I was like I can't think of the name of this shit and my one cousin was like what Funtinari and we're like Yo, bro, what the fuck? Yeah. So we're talking about it at a bar, and as we're talking about it, I'm watching this guy, and he's just, we're just saying Futanari, and this guy's like, <laughs> he's turning around. <laughs> he's looking, and I'm like, dude, he fucking knows what it is, too. He knows what Futanari is. That's a funny thing Whenever, to drop a weird porn reference exactly. and watch people like, oh. if ever, yeah. If I ever hear somebody know a porn star's name for the most part, or in your case, like tranny websites, yeah, I'm case. always, or Futanari. <laughs> Or Beezer, Beezer knew. Beezer gave you a little fucking. <laughs> I gave him the hat. He gave him the fucking. I gave him a stole second, yeah, maybe. Like, bring out the righty. Dude, it's going to be so funny because they are going to release all of our internet histories, dude. That's coming. That is fucking coming. Uh, I had a weird. I was watching like. Uh, God la- damn it. I, was, I saw like a lactating video. That's nothing, bro. Uh, That's fucking yeah. nothing. They, those are gross, though. They're not like. I want to see a hot chick lactating. Do <laughs> you ever yeah. see pregnant? You ever watched the pregnant, pregnant porn? Pregnant porn was big I for never a watched pregnant it's, porn. It's, I got into it. Not but no, lie. I clicked this fucking lactating one. Yeah? Because I was like, what the fuck is this? I, it's, I swear to God, it wasn't to jerk Tit off. Milk? Yeah, you can jerk know, off whatever you want, bro. I wanted to see like, what, how that this was This is a safe space, yeah. dude. Beezer loves but training now castle. Like my, now my recommendation. <laughs> Apparently it's across the street from Urban Saloon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's right there on Fairmont. The training yeah, castle. Never it is. It's like, dude, the Get Eastern State Penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it, it's dude. a training castle. That's why Wood posted it. <laughs> I'm telling it. you, that's it. What if Wood was just posted? We have to call Wood. Like, dude, were you posted the <laughs> go training? To, go to Wood's Facebook wall. Let's pause. Like, Let's, uh, to uh, end uh, this, uh, uh, to uh, end uh, this, uh, can we pause and call Wood? Can we call Wood and see if that was a training castle? Yeah, and I'm telling him. you, I think it was. Uh, he was making a joke. I would just love to have Wood be like, I don't. I think he said he was watching a history documentary on the Eastern State Penitentiary. Dude, which I kind of, I do kind of hope he was making a joke because if he just screenshotted a history documentary and was like such an interesting fucking subject, that's Dude, gayer than thinking he's I, a training I want to call him right now and have him like, wait, what? No, 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 that was Easter State Penitentiary and have the beast <laughs> can answer to the wood. I mean, go ahead, call him. He's probably won't answer. Put it on speaker. No, I think I fucked it. I think you fucked oh, it. Oh, come on. But, dude, I'm telling you, if you look up this picture that he put up as a screenshot. Find the training castle, dude. I'll show you the fucking beginning right now. <laughs> what do you mean the beginning? <laughs> Every fucking. <laughs> it starts with. It, the video shows the same thing. The training <laughs> video starts with a picture of that. No, it's the, the logo, castle. you I, asshole. I need to get, I'm not I need, an asshole. I need to get a job at a webcam place so I can be like, dude, I just know about this from work, bro. I don't really know. <laughs> Wait, why am I an Wait, asshole? Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to help you. No, you're not. <laughs> the this shows up. It's just purple and small. I'm like yeah. that is not the same thing. <laughs> it's just a lady's dick. <laughs> Dude. 
<laughs> so hold on, for the listener, our friend oh, Chris Wood posted a picture, yeah. which, in, again, is gayer than Tranny Castle. That means he literally just posted a picture, a screen grab of a YouTube documentary he was watching on Maybe the Eastern was... State Penitentiary, and he put it on Facebook and was like, wow, such an interesting documentary on the Eastern State Penitentiary. Maybe he was stoked on his local geography. I know, dude. that's what I mean. That's corny. I, know, that's I think he really Beezer was. was. And, yeah. I think he was fucking around, honestly. For sure. That's I what I'm saying. I think this is all of an elaborate dude, trap to catch Beezer there's the training no castle, way dude. that Wood was posting this because he thought how it was long were you castle? going around thinking he was ironically referring to the train and why would he refer to the training castle on facebook for all of his friends? because it looks like eastern state penitentiary here we go brutal mouth fuck that's an evil angel <laughs> Beezer, let me see the training castle. Dude. Hold on it's coming he's drawing it right now with microsoft Paint. <laughs> Ooh, sasha gray no she went mainstream. Oh, he's taking his time finding. I can't it, find I know one. You got that Hold shit on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, you know what? Hold on. It might be under something else. Trainees. You gotta type in your password. You okay. Log in to your training it's castle. The whole thing. <laughs> this is too fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Because like, yeah, it would post to the training council <laughs> the other day. It's like, you mean the eastern fucking, you mean the prison? I just sent to our county, fucking county <laughs> prison. <laughs> prison. <laughs> like, that's not it. So, the, on the website, that's their logo at, at Evil no, Angel? hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm saying <laughs> is, their pornos start out with a picture of this castle. Sure. Okay. The training castle. <laughs> I don't know if it's all trade. There's other shit that happens, like dominatrix and stuff happens in there, but a lot in of the castle? Yeah, they dom off. You're trying to squirm out of the training castle, dude. No, no, I'll <laughs> show there's you. There's straight shit going on in the dungeon. There's some dungeons. So yeah. it's kind of like the Pornhub's, like it's, the training castle is like the Pornhub's like, what's that? Yeah, yeah. How's that song go? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. How's that go, though? Literally how you just said it. Dum, 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 dum. I don't know. We could all, we could all be singing training songs, dude. You gotta be careful before you throw True. out fucking in your porn reference. Hold on. I think, dude, I probably could find this thing in two fucking seconds. Hold on. Just YouTube tranny castle. Tranny race. I challenge you to a tranny race. This is dude. a tranny race right now? Yeah. It's What's the website? Shit. Evil Empire? Evil. Beezer no, it's, it might not even be. Fuck. I know that I've seen that castle before. Knows it. And not. Tranny castle is what I Googled. It's probably going to be Transylvania. Ah, see, this, be this is in the castle. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot of Transylvania. Transylvania. I don't Damn, know why these I'm are like... definitely just. I know it's somewhere. Well, we'll have to find it, dude. Yeah, I'll find it. We'll find it. Let's wrap her, dude. Yeah, oh, you're still recording? A, it's been a real one. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, do you think we're... Well, you locked this Damn, up. Damn, I'll tell you what. If you Google tranny castle, uh, some of them are just a tranny in a castle, which is pretty funny. It looks like... <laughs> yeah, is that Eastern State? <laughs> it's like a dude dressed as like an old mom. It's just wooden just awake. visiting castles. <laughs> it's just a... There's, if you Google tranny castle, it's just a lady having a nice time. Yeah. Just a tranny at a castle. Oh, just nice. Visiting. Having a good time. There's nothing wrong with that. Taking like senior pictures at That's nice. You know, fuck in the stairway. Good for trannies. Anyway, yeah, so for them these are thank you for coming yeah, on. Oh yeah, episode, dude, dude. thanks for having me on. You guys are the best. That was a blast. And, uh, um April twenty fifth, come to Helium. Yes. This Friday, April thirteenth, I'll be in DC for the DC comedy fest. Oh, I'll be down there. Oh nice. I'll be there the thirteenth. When are you? Yeah, I'm not down there on Saturday. Okay. I got to be back Saturday for a show in Philly. And what did I say it was? Philly, uh, versus, Lansdale Philly versus New York. Philly versus New York. It's, a, it's a nice urban show, as nice. the kids would call it. And I'm representing Philadelphia as we take on two Hispanics from New York <laughs> in comedy. It's me and an Asian chick. That's hilarious. Dude. Me and an Asian chick Wait, versus two Asian Hispanics. Chick? I don't know. She's got a Polish last name. What if someone approaches you, right. to Alyssa Triskowski? Yeah. What if someone oh, okay. yeah, approaches yeah. you nice. to throw yeah, the yeah. fucking no, fight? Yeah, yeah, no, I don't know, Alyssa. She's so cool. if one of the Hispanics try to make me throw the fight, yeah, dude, throw the comedy battle. It's Philly till I die. I got to rep Philly in this comedy battle. It's going to be so funny. Philly versus New York. Me, an Asian chick with a Polish last name. <laughs> Two Puerto Ricans from the Bronx. It all goes down you do the math, in dude. front of all black people. You just people. end up offending everyone on the show. <laughs> oh, I'm you're just a Polish Asian. I'm a very stupid. Just, <laughs> this just sounds like someone's commissioned porn, dude. <laughs> I know, I know. Someone set me up to just be like, yo, you know the things. I'm like, yes, dude. I found a new angle. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. April 21st, doing that Cupsy show. Do you know where that was? Yeah, you it's in media. media. It's at the uh, Pig Iron uh, yes. Brewery at the end of Stage Street. It's a great it's a great venue upstairs. Yeah, it's a good April show. April 21st, are you on that? I'm not. I did the first one. You could be on it. 
Yeah, perhaps. I'll do it. All right. Dude, I bring I out think... a ton of media people. Good. That's in media. Yeah. April yeah. 21st, probably Beezer will be on that um, in media. And then the 25th, again, that's the one. 25th. That's Helium mm. Comedy Club. I'll be, I'll be headlining. I there. am hyped for that lineup. That's a big one, dude. The 26th, I'll be at the Crown in Baltimore. And the 27th. Oh, never mind. 27th is. Can't talk about that. Can't even bring up. That's at the Trinity Castle. Dude. You 27th, I'll be at the You're Trinity the Trinity Castle? Castle? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mike Knight. No, 27th, I'll be at the Philly Comedy Club. Oh, you finally got it. Well, you broke like, through. Good for yeah, you. No, it's like a showcase. That's technically, that is what's, the Trinity Castle. What's the Philly Comedy Club? They've had this comedy club in Philadelphia you called the Philly right? Comedy Club. <laughs> you broke in? That they only book New York Comedy Club. What? And they just book New Yorkers and bring them to this small ass room in Philly. And they're like, man, I can't believe we're not getting a crowd. It's like, yeah, because no one knows who the fuck these average New York comics are. Yeah. Well, sometimes they get good lives. It's a yeah, shame. Sometimes that's, they get like Legion they, of Skanks or whatever. Yeah, yeah, they but get then solid lives. Sometimes lineups. it's like, yeah, they're well, good Well, Body comics. came down and did it. Good comics, but exactly. it's like. But nobody oh. knows what the fuck it is. Yeah. Wait, who yeah. are you there with? I don't know. Okay. It's two It's two shows, both showcases on a Friday night, and I think I'm headlining both. So that'll be Oh, sick. you're headlining? Yeah. Oh, but it's just two showcases. It's not like. Yeah, but still. That's sick. Um, more importantly, though, April 25th. Please, dude. Suck our dicks. April 25th Please, needs ah. to happen, dude. Sure. Listen, when you show up, bring a headshot and your resume. Dong shot. Oh, yeah. If you want to show up, there I'll also, be there. Beezer is going to be setting up a table we'll outside. We'll be in the casting room. If you want to sign up. <laughs> the, AKA the green room. Yeah. <laughs> True. That'll be our merch table, dude. Cusco will be dropping dimes on stage. Yeah, dude. I think. I could be wrong. Shaner's hosting. Nice. And Ginty's featuring. Nice. And McCusker, Ooh, guesty, McCusker doing a major spot. Yes. And then I'm going to come Hot on. three. I'm going to come on and do material. Uh, everybody's heard. That's going to be a good nice. night. It's a Wednesday, right? Yeah. And, yeah, and on a hot night for comedy. Wow. Wednesday night. That'll be tough. Yeah. That's when the best comedy takes place. Pretty Middle much. Everyone week, knows when that. everyone's as tired as they get. Hump day, baby. <laughs> everyone's ready for that weekend. Dude, your castle's open to at week. least two. What do you think's going on at the training castle? <laughs> no, dude. dude. All right. Open Yo, buy Bibles. my fucking book. Don't even buy oh, yeah, it. Yeah, just, yeah. just fucking read it. It's Overlook on Amazon. You don't make any money. Do you want to tell people uh, about that uh, secret business deal you may have in the works? Yeah, we got an audio book, dude. I hired a premier voice actor. Somebody dude, with a real... it's me. Just tell them. I'm like, yeah, it's me. Or even I won't even talk. tell you who it is, dude. Somebody with a real nice voice. Yeah, someone Come with a very on. nice broadcasting voice. Oh, I, I've been boss. scouting him from the beginning of this podcast, that dude, to see what's going on. might be good for an audiobook if he can read. True that. It's going to be a long... No, it's me. Shane. It's going to be a long Shane's going to read the audiobook. I'm going to read Matt's audiobook. and uh, That's going to be the cash It'll be fucking sick. Wait, We're is We're going to make true? so much money off yeah. this. That's a good idea. Hiring Shane as a voice actor. Nice. Yeah, he was like, I'll pay you. He said this pretty high number. And I, I was like, money, dude, bro. you don't have to fucking pay me. Come on, man. Well, you I just record it down free. here, dude. And then I, I kept, know we're doing it. So I called Matt and I was like, dude, I thought about it. You definitely don't need to pay me to do this. It's ridiculous. And then I hung up and I was like, fuck, that was, that was like rent. I needed that. Yeah, I'm going to get, get a boy. I was like, like God damn it. I'm going to cover that $190 ticket, bro. I'm going I'm to bail Whoa. Shane out of jail, well, dude. I, I have, that's I have nice. like two more days before there's a warrant for my arrest in Mechanicsburg. So. I, need, I can't have you getting locked up, dude. I need you to do this audiobook. I'm not worried about the money as much I'll as it is. I'll secure the bag, dude. Mailing <laughs> and stamping a letter. I can't do that. That's hard. I'll secure the bag, bro. What? Can you call it in? No, you got to mail it in. Yeah, dude. It this sucks. is mechanics, bro. I'll do it. I'll handle it, dude. I'll go get a money order at 190 tomorrow. I got two stamps left to classic truck stamps. There's wow. stamps upstairs. I got stamps in the training castle. Yeah, there actually is. There's random stamps upstairs. I saw that so, the other day. That's it. That's it. Yeah, um, yeah it's. We're gonna we're gonna get those shirts back up because those yeah. shirts are fucking sick. I'm Matt and Shane Secret link. Podcast shirts are fucking sick. They are for sure. Um, and then yeah, April twenty fifth. If you're not there, don't ever listen to the podcast again. You're yes. shunned. You're a piece of shit. Except Chad, Tennessee. God bless. Praise the Lord, I was born to travel, feeling like Slash in front of the chapel. I'm lean back with the less pull. Shit I smoke is like cholesterol. Spill dressing on the vest at the festival, the best of all. Had a midget Puerto Rican at my beck and call. Best